Hey, hello there. Hi. Hi, everyone. It's so nice to see everybody. And I've got Kim from Oh My Vintage. And oh, yes, and Denise's Magical Emporium. I forgot. <laughs> My tiny hands. Oh, Jen's here. Hi, Jen. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and I sold my hat and my glasses. God, I should have kept those things. I just feel like I should grab them, but they're they're on the way you'll somewhere. Find, you'll find another pair. Yeah. 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 <laughs> give, you, give you inspiration. But that is that is really funny. And I'm so glad you made that your thumbnail. That is oh, awesome. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So if you guys haven't seen, look look in the chat because uh, Denise does have her um, her picture of her hat and her. Let me see. I can. I don't know if I have. A, I can kind of get it up on the screen there. It is yeah. really hard. It's hard to see. Um, yeah, I guess I don't have a picture. Huh. But I will share the link to her channel so you can make sure that you are subscribed to Denise's channel. Thank you. And I'm going to share the link to Kim's channel too. I'm going to be at 300 pretty soon. <laughs> 300. Ooh. No, no reason at all. Just because. <laughs> well, you're, you're well on your way. To what? <laughs> to, to what I <laughs> To the journey. Yes, there you go. <laughs> but hello, Sarah Lee. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Jan. Hello, Linda. Hi, Jen. Hi, Poppy. Hi, Becky. Hello, Perla. Hi. Hi, Jamie. And um, hello, Karen. So, woohoo. Now, Perla. we've got a standing contest competition challenge all those good things get the chat to a hundred and kim is gonna do a pickleback shot denise has got her her pickle juice ready <laughs> pickle and, juice and a pickle puzzle yeah and we've got giveaways Party we've got time. giveaways we're gonna do so share us out, bring your friends, bring your family. If you've got other people with devices in your house, have them join us, get us up to a hundred and it is going to be a party. Hello, Christy. <laughs> and while you're telling everybody to join us, go ahead, click on those links that I put in the chat. Make sure you're subscribed to Denise and Kim and, um, and Denise, let everybody know what upcoming sales you have, where else they can find you. And in the meantime, Jen sent me a, a text here of, oh, uh, that, here. Was the, that was the let's, friend let's sale. Hang on, hang on. Let's get you on the big screen. There you go. That was a friend sale. And that was a hat I got from Steph in one of her mystery boxes and glasses that I had bought in, in a pile of glasses from Dee Dee. And I don't know, you know how things just kind of happen during a live sale. They just kind of, oh, they just kind of evolve, you know? So anyways, that, but I can't remember who bought them even. It was, it was somebody that I wasn't real familiar with. Um, anyways, I am on Saturday night, tonight, <laughs> with Trisha at 9 p.m. But then on the 17th, which is just this coming week, I'm on with Trisha and Jen on their um, two sales in one day on Wednesdays, Woo! 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. And that's central time. I know um, she does look like Phyllis Diller with that hat, doesn't she? Yeah, and it's like Phyllis <laughs> Diller was a screwball. <laughs> She was she was a genius, but but a yeah. screwball comedian. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi Sherry. Hi Mary Beth. <laughs> and on uh, Monday nights, I'm on with Lisa's Fun Finds. Uh, we're on at eight o'clock Central, and then on Wednesdays and sometimes Fridays, we're on Margie's channel. Um, and we just have a lot of fun and goof around, and uh, those guys have a lot of jewelry. <laughs> 
I just sell whatever. And I think that's it. Okay. All right. Hi, Christine. Hi, Maribel. <laughs> So I will get Kim up here and um, I'm going to share the links again to both their channels. And Kim, let everybody know what you've got going on. Okay, so um, my next uh, monthly YouTube live sale is uh, this coming Tuesday, April 16th at my new time at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you're there. Uh, and then um, on Wednesday, April 24th, I'll be doing the double day live sale with uh, Sandy and Otto, Trisha and Janice at 11 a.m. Eastern and then 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern. And that's what I have uh, going on for me right now in YouTube land. <laughs> <laughs> Well, very cool. And I will be back on Monday, uh, Monday through Friday. I do lunchtime sales at 1130 uh, Eastern time, except on Wednesday when we start half an hour early over on Jen's channel. And um, on Monday night, I do a live sale with Jen that starts at 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so two sales on Monday. I won't be doing a sale tomorrow, but <laughs> that is the that is the one day that I do take off from YouTube. <laughs> oh, you gotta have one day off. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! But uh, but yeah, the links are in the chat, so be sure and check those out, and make sure you are subscribed to their channel so you'll get notification um when when they go live and uh when i go live and <laughs> all that good stuff um let's see so important information to let you know about the sale everything's going to be offer up style unless it's not but most things are going to be offer up style we'll put the start price in the chat um, so you can see it. I'm going to highlight it up on the screen. Also try to do little shout outs um, along the way. Because uh, I know a lot of people watch on their phones and it's teeny tiny. You can't read it. So we'll do yeah. little shout outs. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, oh, and then I lost my train of thought. Uh, let's see. Oh, um, where people are shipping from, we kind of have the whole U.S. covered here. We've got Kim shipping from New Jersey. We've got Denise <laughs> from Iowa. And I'm on the West Coast in Western Washington. Um, and uh, let's see. Oh, um, as offers, I was trying to, trying to get back on track with offers. As offers come in, um, I'll be highlighting those up on the screen and doing a little shout out of those also. Offers will continue um, until we are left with just the high offer. So if you do put an offer in, it gets to your max limit. Go ahead and type the word out into the chat um, because you don't have to have the fastest internet here. You don't have to be in the big city with the 5G net, um, you know, networks. Um, but we do at least want to keep things flowing. So, um, if you can type out when it hits your max, that definitely helps us move it along. And hello, hippie grandma. Hi, Sherry. Hi. Um, Let's see. Oh, and then I'll do a countdown going once, going twice, and sold. Um, you'll see that in the chat. Um, that is just to allow people to kind of know we're closing that one out. But if you had to take the dog out, um, you know, if you had to, to refill your beverage and you came in and you want to put an offer in on an item and we're doing the countdown, go ahead, put it in the chat. We will um, stop the countdown at that point and allow offers to continue until we are again just left with the high offer. So no sniping, no just in case here. And uh, the price of the item does not include the cost of shipping. That is um, calculated based on the size of the box, the weight of the box, and the destination from where we are. And... Oh, we use pirate ship for shipping. 
We use PayPal for invoicing and I think it's just about everything. But if you have questions about anything that we are selling, if we haven't answered, if we haven't given you a measurement, if you have a question about the color, um, let us know. We are happy to answer all your questions before we do the countdown. Hi, Lena. Hi, Aaron. Hi. And, <laughs> um, and that I think that I think is just about it. Anything else you guys can think of other than um, let's help us get to a hundred? So share us out, <laughs> bring all your right. friends in. And help us get to 100, because if you do, there's going to be pickleback shots and giveaways. And pickle puzzles. <laughs> oh, and the, the shipping price is, in, in, is separate from the item price. <laughs> oh, you got your hands, Lena? <laughs> you, can, you can bid with your little hands. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I was too lazy to get two little hands. I just got one. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. All right. So with that, I think we are going to go ahead and get started. And let me write down... All right, so we are going to start with Denise. We're going to do alphabetical order. That'll, right, be, you go. that'll be easier for my brain. <laughs> Today I was in the shower and I kept hearing you say, and that was sold to Denise. It's like, no, no. And it's like there was some other Denise that showed up. It's like, no, no, I didn't buy anything, Trisha. My first item is just a cute little ashtray. It's just a little ashtray with a little mouse. He's in real good shape and he can be eight dollars um off or out and he's got the little um i'm assuming it's an ashtray you know it's got the little ashtray thingies on it and it's kind of like a brown dripware pattern or type of pottery but the mouse is the best part of the whole thing it's just i know he is adorable mary beth there's no marks i don't know i've never seen him before i just happened to find him and it's like he was in a box i've been digging in boxes again in the basement and, <laughs> and he, i got mice apparently because i got one out but look at his little face right there. but you could keep little snacks in there or whatever and or just i don't know i just like him just for what he is aaron I don't know what happened, but I was watching your show and I fell asleep and I don't know what you were selling that I might be interested in, but <laughs> I slept through it. <laughs> oh dear. And hippie's in. Hi hippie. How you doing? And I see you guys are on my channel. If, if you want to come over to, um, to Trisha's at Sandy and Otto, you'll, you'll be able to see what everybody's saying and other bids and Lena's at nine. Right. So, yeah, so we can see you. So, so don't worry if you're on Kim's channel, if you're on Denise's channel, we can see you and you're just fine. Stay in there. If you want to see the full chat, I am the host channel. I do this sale every Saturday night. Uh, so I'm here every Saturday night, different guests with me. Um, but I'm hoping I can get these ladies back again next month um, to join me. Uh, but um, but yeah, so um, so yeah, if you want to come on over, make sure you're subscribed, make sure the notification bell's turned on so you get um, notifications for um, for the sale. But yeah, I'm here every Saturday night. And we've got Christy in at 10. And thank you, Hippie Grandma, for letting us know you are out. Well, thanks, Hippie. Hippie always buys a lot of fun stuff. Well, anyways, stuff. And everybody has their own stuff they buy. You know, it seems like um, Hippie's a sewer. And Lena is at 11. 
Well, you're a popular little mouse. He's in real good shape. No chips or cracks or anything. Yeah. I should tell you how big he is. Um, he's four inches in diameter this way. No, he, he's, it's not a real huge item, but he's just, just so sweet. He's like, I'm going to get myself out of this ashtray here. I don't think I really want to be in here that bad. And thank you, Christy. It is Karen. Right. It's got, it's not really dripware, but it's kind of. Yeah, you know, it, it kind of is. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. a, like a, from the bottom to the top <laughs> yeah. um, dripware. But it's that brown. And, you know, it works good for him. You know, it works good for Mighty Mouse. So there you go. Hello, Thomas. Hi, Thomas. <laughs> you have to get us uh, 60 more people. Yep. We got to yeah. we gotta get yeah. to 100. Get the chat to 100. Pickleback shots and giveaways are coming. That's right. So be sure and share us out for uh, for all your friends to come and join us. And yeah. I believe everyone is out and we can count this down for Lena. So thank yeah. you, everyone. Thank you, Lena. So going once. Going twice. And sold to Lena. Thank you so much, Lena. Thank you guys for bidding, everybody. And on to whoever. <laughs> yep, we're going to Kim next. <laughs> okay, so um, my first item is going to start at uh, $14. Uh, and I have a pair of coasters. Um, That's the first time I've ever seen any coasters like these before. So both of them are a little bit different. So I have these... Um, a pair of floral, I guess you could say they're needlepoint, I think. You tell me, everyone. <laughs> yeah, are the stitches going in one direction diagonally? It looks yeah. like. Yep. Yeah. Needlepoint. Yeah. Good job, so, Kim. Thank you. <laughs> I try. <laughs> uh, so I will pay, I'll show you each one first. So they're a pair of floral uh, needlepoint uh, silver tone metal coasters. And uh, they're both uh, diff. Um, they're not the same. They they're different. Uh, so this one has like two purple flowers and like this pink. Uh, I think it's like a yeah, like a dark like fuchsia pink. Uh, and then in the back it says, what? Where is it? It says made in Hong Kong. I think you can kind of see it back there. Uh, and it is three inches across in diameter. And a one inch uh, thick here. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lena. I know it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's the other one. So you can see it's a little bit different. So this one's just like, I guess you could say, like a single flower or it has like, different types of little flowers in this one and it's so cute so you could use this for your pickle back shots or your pickle juice <laughs> <laughs> or hot chocolate whatever hold your coffee in the morning for you and your guest or you know have two drinks for yourself who cares <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> and they're in good condition. And I just thought they're really cute. Put on your coffee table, so while you're watching us on your on our on your TV, you can have your drinks there. Yeah, that'd be a good riser, uh, Mary Beth. Maybe I, I don't know. How, yeah, I mean, unless you put it on a stand or something. Um, so if you don't want to use it as a coaster, you can just... Well, I was even thinking you could put a command strip on the back and hang it on the wall, too. Yeah, yeah. you can definitely mm -hmm. use it, like, in the <laughs> wall decor. Yeah, two-handed drinker. Yeah, whatever you want. <laughs> I like that, Lena. <laughs> You're my kind of girl. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so you could definitely put a hook on here or something or use it for your wall decor or just as coasters. 
But yeah, so these were fourteen dollars, and uh, yeah, that was my Hi, Nancy. Item. You can let me know if you're interested later on. All right, um, and we are passing on that item. Um, however, we will do a speed round recap at the end of the sale, um, but it's going to be late. And I know not everybody is going to be able to stay with us for the whole sale. Um, you may voluntarily know you're going to sleep. You may wake up and <laughs> we're, we're a little later in the sale than you anticipated. Um, but on any item we pass on, you can go ahead and claim at any time during the sale. So if you think about it half an hour, an hour from now, you think, oh, that might make a nice gift for somebody. You don't have to wait for the speed round because I know you might not make it to the speed round. You let us know anytime in the chat if you want to go ahead and claim something. Um, we're getting more people in the chat. So just a reminder, share us out, bring in, bring in more people. Um, and then... Um, when we get to 100, we're going to do, um, well, some people are going to do pickleback shots and giveaways. I'm going to do the giveaway. And Lynn, that is 14 for the pair. Hello, Jessica. Nice to see you. Yeah, it's for, yes, it's for the pair, uh, Lynn. So you can let me know if you're interested. <laughs> All right. And I, let's see. So the item I have, um, I have multiples of this item. So it's going to start um, $10 for each one of these. And I have five of them available. This is a beautiful purple glass goblet like a water goblet for a table setting. This is by Imperial Glass. And it is the provincial pattern. And it's kind of mesmerizing. I feel like I'm looking at a kaleidoscope. Like I can turn it. <laughs> like a flower. <laughs> but it's got this really cool like honeycomb um, pattern on it. And they do get a little smaller as it gets towards the bottom. But they are a beautiful goblet and they are $10 each. And I do have five of them available. They are about five and a half inches tall and about three inches wide at the opening. Yeah, Thomas, that, that's, I think that's more for a drink, not a shot. <laughs> <laughs> it could like, be a shot. That's a big shot. That's like. That's a really big shot. It's <laughs> like what? I don't know, more than five shots? I don't... <laughs> but they're really thick glass. Um, Imperial made these. And I believe they made them this pattern, I think late 60s, early 1970s was when this pattern came out. I love it in all the little uh, thumbprint things. We see your face. I know. There's like multiple Trish. And... <laughs> yeah, Trish on Patrol. I am. Yeah. <laughs> there she is. Hello, Joanne. Hi, Joanne. All right. So we will pass on those. And again, if you think about it, you're interested in these. Um, I do have five of them available and they are $10 each. All right. And we'll bring those back for the speed round. Um, you know, Christy, I they made them in several colors. So I would think it's very possible considering the time period of 60s, 70s, that they probably did have green and probably an amber color um, also because those colors were crazy popular at that time period. 
All right. So we are going to go back to Denise. All righty. My next thing, I think it's probably a bookend, a single bookend, but I just have one. It's, a, I believe it's brass, uh, a brass eagle on top of the earth. And he can start at $10. He is uh, seven inches tall altogether. And, you know, he's got a little bit of weight. Uh, he's probably a pound or so. Uh, I'm getting better at guessing weights. I got this big lamp and I guessed it at 10 pounds and it was nine. And it was like, woo woo. <laughs> oh, that's good. I can't, right. I can't, I can't guess weight. I, yeah. I pick something up. I go, Oh, that's, that's light. And it's like three pounds. It's like, yeah. okay, no, I'm not, I'm not going to play the guessing game. <laughs> I was, I, you go to the doctor, you know, you got to have your weight done. And I'm always like, oh, no, no, we don't need to do that. Thank you, Christy. And Christy's in at 10. <laughs> I'm going to see real quick here what it weighs, just, just out of curiosity. One pound, 10 ounces. What did I say? I said a pound. So we're going on, well, pound and a half, a little over pound and a half. But, um. You know, if you've got like a little patriotic area, you know, like where you have your patriotic stuff, it's great for that. Or you could use it for one end of a bookend. And and this eagle is serious. He is not messing around. He says, I'm not going to be wearing a hat and glasses. So don't be don't be thinking about that. And yeah, I'm, I'm very serious. On the back, it does say um, an A with a C copyright mark. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. Other than that, the bottom is just felt colored. So you can sit it on your wood furniture or whatever and not scratch it. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Good to see you. I don't see anybody else other than Christy. All we can right. see count it out or count. I think it's a him. Yeah, I don't know. There are a lot. There's a lot of him eagles because I never think of an eagle as a her. So going once, going twice, and sold to Christy. Thank you so much, Christy. You'll like that. I think. I think he's cool. And and for everybody who is joining us, we are streaming on all three of our channels. Um, I am the host channel. If you would like to see the whole chat, go ahead, come on over to my channel. But we can see you in the chat where you're at. So you're fine to stay, so stay right there. And um, just a reminder, I do this sale every Saturday night. Uh, so come back, join me on Saturday nights for um, for my next week's sale also. Yeah. Okay. So um, my item's going to start at uh, $40. So uh, for those of you who like paint by number paintings, are you ready for this? I hope you are. So I'm going to show. Maybe I'll try to Okay, hold on. I'm gonna show one first. Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me go like this. There Sorry. you go. Sorry about the light. So so I have these um vintage paint by numbers. So of uh, these beautiful horses. And these are a uh, 17 by 13. So you can definitely make a wall gallery. With the, I have two of them, so I'm just showing one first. And I was hoping to find, like, you know, a signature or something in the back, but they do have the wire already, so you, it's ready to hang. And it has, like, this, like, green type of frame. And then, oops, sorry about the glare. It looks like, I guess, in the back, maybe those are, what, mountains or... A stream or something. I was thinking mountains. Mountains, yeah. right? Because it's like kind of bumpy up there. Yeah. So you have the horse there. And then the other one I found. And they go together, obviously. 
is this one. So you have like a baby horse and the other horse. And they're like by a window with a black a background near. I guess you could, yeah, there's just like clouds, the sky, nature, you know. <laughs> and it has the same green uh, frame. And yeah, this one didn't have a signature on the back. But they're really cute together. Whoops. I'll try to... Sh we're all together now. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so, or you can obviously hang them in like separate uh, areas if you don't want to put them together. I know some people, yeah, whoever did this, they did a very good job. They did. They did a very mm -hmm. nice job. These horses. So I just thought it was so cute. And I was so surprised to find this uh, recently in the wild. Like, let alone two of them, not just like <laughs> one, you know? <laughs> so... <laughs> You would never have finished these? Yeah, they're so pretty. So whoever, I was really hoping to find a signature in here, but I guess they they didn't want to. <laughs> but yeah, that's in good condition. It's probably in someone's home. So yeah, so again, these are uh, 17 by 13 for the sizes. Okay, and then there's no chips or cracks on the glass either. And obviously, you know, if you don't like the frame, you can always change, uh, put in your own frame if, you, if if you want a different one. So, yeah, so these were $40, and those were my items. All right. Nice. Those are beautiful. Yeah. yeah, somebody who was talented. I've I've done paint by numbers, you know, back in the day. They did not look like that when I was <laughs> I, know. I know it. <laughs> I painted, I painted all the right numbers, all the right colors in the right spot, but you still have to have like a little painter's finesse, I think. Yeah. With those. <laughs> uh, all right. So I have got a $20 start on maybe. There it is. I've got a $20 start on a teapot. Now, I don't think this teapot was used much because it still has the sticker on here. And I would think if somebody were using this, washing it, that that sticker might have come off. Uh, but this is made in England by Arthur Wood and Sons, and it is marked on the bottom. Arthur Wood, England, Hampton. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Bless you. And it has these um, beautiful purple and blue flowers. That's pretty. So we see so many in the pinks, um, you know, reds and pinks or multicolored that this one is really nice with uh, with the blue and purple tones. The other side does have the same image on it. Very fancy handle. And the gold on it is still in really nice condition, which makes me think that it really wasn't ever used. Here is the spout. And then here is the inside. It does have some crazing. It is, it's, it's an old teapot. So it does have a little bit of crazing. It does have the little hook on here so that as you're pouring, that helps it stay in place. Oh, nice. As you pour, but it is in beautiful condition. You can see the gold around the top still in really nice condition. So yeah, I don't think this was really ever used. So it is like new, still with the sticker on it. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's and a big one. Yeah, it is a larger one. So it's probably an eight, eight cup capacity. And again, that gold is just in beautiful shape all around the bottom. 
in nice shape all on the handles. And then I'll show around the top, even the, the little knob, nowhere on the gold. And it does have a couple of flowers on top. Pretty. And there is the Arthur Wood um, sticker that is still on there. So that one, $20 for the teapot. Teapot right. time. <laughs> so we will bring that one back for the speed round. And, uh, and don't forget, tell your friends, have them come and join us. If you've got people who also have YouTube accounts, have them sign in and join us. When we get the chat up to 100, we will be doing, well, they will be doing their own version of pickleback shots, but we will be doing giveaways also. So help us get the chat up to 100. And we're going to go back to Denise. I've got an owl cookie jar. It's not particularly old, but um, I got him in a high bid and I just thought he was cute. He can start at $12. And I just thought he was the cutest little thing. He is with the lid on and everything. He's about, he's a little over 10 inches tall and he's in real good shape. There's no chips, there's no cracks. And you could have your little owl late night treats in there, but he's in real good shape. There's, you know, no paint loss. I, he was real sticky. It's like somebody, some little grubby paws had been <laughs> handling him, him and their cookies and stuff. But, um, He's he's clean inside and out. Oh, I lied. There's a little tiny, little tiny chip right there on the rim. I'm not even sure it's a chip. It might just be a something out of the mold. Thanks, Mike. I didn't see you here. I'm glad you came. And he's real clean inside. And um, he's a china item, hand wash only. So he got hand washed at my house. That's it. I've got a dishwasher is one person in a house. The only thing the dishwasher gets used for is to clean up items to sell. Whoopsie. That's I'm, just I'm one person. I use my dishwasher. Oh, do you really? I just, I <laughs> kind of hate it. Everything has that, um, you know, anything old you can't wash. <laughs> Lena, I don't even know the accent. Somebody else said that. And it's like, I don't understand. I don't. I guess everybody that has some sort of accent doesn't know they have it, but I don't know. It just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but grubby paws. We always used to say that. My dad was always like, yeah, get your grubby paws off of there. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways. No oh, worries. you got that nice, nice cookie jar, Mike. That that was a, definitely an old vintage or possibly antique. That was. I'm glad it arrived, okay, because that thing was heavy and it was nice. And I'm glad it's with somebody who appreciates it. So, but we can count that down for. All right, Mike, for sure. So going once, going twice and sold to mike i'll be coming your way mike Woo -hoo. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all right and we are going to kim okay so my item's going to start at uh, 30 dollars and i have a set of eight uh english cottage um uh, pimpernel placemats so they're oh i think most of them are different so i'll show each one so you'll be getting a uh, eight uh pimpernel place mats so this one says english uh, cottages and these are 12 by 9 place mats so there you have it there's the english cottage the garden and it has the original uh, pimpernel made in england sticker with the like cork back. 
So you have this one. Okay, I have to show each one. Because there's, yes. Yes, so I want to make sure they're different. <laughs> this one, this one is of a white house, a white cottage, the garden, and then the third one. Let's see. Well, this one has like tulips in the front. So this is a different garden. Yeah, you could frame these, Jan, or put this on display. Right. I know they are like little works of art. They're beautiful. Or you, every day when you have lunch, breakfast, or dinner, just mm -hmm. change your placemat so you can look at something pretty. So right. here's this one. And then and most of these all have the stickers still in the back. Then there's, hold on, I'm just going each one by one, hold on. So this says English Cottages. So I love the flowers on this one. This one's very pretty with all the flowers here. That's got a lot of flowers. Yeah. Make sure you take your allergy medicine just in case. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> I love flowers and then. <laughs> um, but then these two. Now, if you look at this one. Uh, so these have like. Like a deeper golden color. And then this one's a little bit lighter. So there's two of them. I'm assuming they're for like the head of the table on the other side of the table, I guess, if you want to make it a little more uh, formal or whatever. <laughs> so this one says, it's a castle comb in the county of Wiltshire, uh, English villages. So this one's a little bit different. So you can see the village in here. And this one is all, so these two are like the same color around the border. And then this one says it's the wool, wool pit in the county of Suffolk, uh, English uh, villages. So you'll be getting all eight of these. Um, and yeah, like Jan said, you can just display them uh, like as art. Now I will say I did clean these. Now <laughs> I can't tell if it's just like age or someone actually used like a yellow highlighter or something <laughs> like right there but unless you're really staring at it then you can see it <laughs> so you'll get all eight of these for uh thirty dollars and yeah they are 12 by 9 and they're in good condition minus this one with the little marking but uh, i did wipe these down so this is 30 dollars. you can let me know if you're interested and that was my item all right those are beautiful they i, I always like the pimpernel ones they do such a good job yeah <laughs> all right so i have a lamp next this is Moroccan. Who's who's feeling exotic tonight? <laughs> so I did add um, because it did not have a a light source to it. So I did add one of these little um, clip-ons to it, which I will include. But here's the bottom. So that is where the the light fixture would go. So when I saw that, I kind of went, oh, well, you probably would want to use like a little clip on anyway. So it does fit in there nicely, just like that. Um, I believe this is leather. And it is made out of metal. Okay, obviously, but I'll state it. It's made <laughs> out of metal with a stretched leather shade on it. And then here is the design on top. So I'll kind of hold it back here so you get an idea of how it kind of 
flows. So it's got a nice flow to it. And I will plug this in so you can see how it looks when it lights up. But this is going to start at $35 for the Moroccan lamp. And then here's how it looks when it's lit up. It's really cool. Thanks, Jan. Yeah, it is a gorgeous <laughs> design. And oh, come back. Do I not have the light bulb in there all the way? Okay, this is a brand. Hey, you're brand new. I do have another one as backup. So <laughs> what is going on? We're live. Did you not get the memo? We're live. <laughs> it's like, did the bulb just go out? Okay, well, great. I have another one of these. I will include it. <laughs> Thank you. You're not helping. Unless my, unless my plug just decided to go out. My extension cord. Of course. <laughs> you do this. You do this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to work great. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be perfect. And then, of course, <laughs> you go live and nope. Let me see if it's oh great. Well now now it's on the floor. <laughs> so we're gonna pass on the light. But I will I will get the backup. Don't worry. I got the backup. And thank you, Karen. <laughs> I see you in. She but saw, yeah. so she's good. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Things that happen when you go live. But let me get in here close so you can see that and it is textured. So however they did this, this design is sitting on top of the leather and it is like sewn on. You can kind of see it stretched and sewn on, but it's beautiful. And it's got such a, a cool design to it. And just in case you're wondering how tall it is, I'll give you a quick measurement. It stands almost 16 inches tall. So it could even be a little floor lamp too, being 16 inches tall. All right, but we will go ahead and count that down for Karen. <laughs> and I'm gonna write on here. New light. And then I'll figure out what's going on with that other one. <laughs> All right. So going once. Going twice. And sold to Karen. Thank you. Let me write that down. All right. Thank you, Karen. And we are going to go back to Denise. I've got this Fenton... I was wrapping that cookie jar in paper and I can't stand that crinkly papery. <laughs> oh, anyways, I think this is Fenton. I can't find the mark. I I have four of them all together and one of them has a sticker. So I'm assuming that they're all of the age to have stickers and not marks. Um, there is a little residue down there. I don't know if that would have been the Fenton sticker or not. It's uh, five inches tall and $25 starting bid. And I I paid more for these. That's partly why, you know. But um, they're, I think they're, I don't know if that's considered case glass or not. Um, but it's dark pink inside. And it's got the little clear trim there. And I, yeah, it does, Joanne. It, it definitely looks like Fenton. And there's three that kind of match that... Um, have the same look and one's got a sticker and the sticker is really 
uh, faded out and you know it's you can tell it's from the 70s or, or earlier so um but it's really cute oh and there's no chips there's no cracks anything like that it's just but um and i think that's a what a melon shape the, it looks the like base it around there i think that's considered like a melon shape yeah and the, um this is the only one that's like that the other ones are just the plain the plain bulbs so yeah i know i pink is my mom's favorite color and i got them at the high bid and then i was at her house and we looked at them and she's like they're pink and it's like take any of them you want i don't care you can have them and she's like no 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 <laughs> so yeah if they don't sell they might go to mom she really mm -hmm. likes really likes pink so see i knew there was something else about your mom that i liked the yes. list keeps growing she yeah pink like us. We're, we're pink oh. girls <laughs> mikey is mikey is uh oh there's junior wait no that's not junior oh that's mikey yeah that's oh, him he's yeah passed. there's oh he, he heard his name he's oh. like i think i heard my name i didn't <laughs> do it quiet. i've been i've been here asleep i didn't do it but in a few hours he'll wake up and he'll start like it's party time <laughs> oh you're a pink girl too mary beth yeah mary beth I, like, I don't dislike it, but um, I like more the naturey greens, blues, yellows, you know, those naturey kind of colors. I don't see any interest, so um, we'll bring that back on the on the speed round. All right, that's a if beauty. They decide they want it before then, just um, number forty-four. Just say number forty-four, and it can be in your pink home tonight. <laughs> That's right. We will be doing a speed round at the end where we'll recap all of the items that are still available. But if you think, oh, I'm not going to make it, I, I am, I'm going to go to sleep. But you want to claim something prior to that, you just let us know in the chat. We'll see it. Somebody will see it. Somebody, If we don't see it, somebody will point it out to us. Um, but we will we'll definitely get you hooked up with that. And, uh, and just a reminder, um, I am the host channel. I do this sale every Saturday night starting at 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, so, yeah. So join me next Saturday and the Saturday after that. And it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. So we're going to, to Kim. I just want, I just want I to make myself big because I was talking. So. Yeah. <laughs> Because I remember one time that happened, you were like, wait, you have one more? I was like, <laughs> I know. I know. I'm not always good at, at remembering. <laughs> uh, so my item is going to start at $25. And I think this is Fenton. I believe from what, when I was doing some research, you can let me know in the chat. And you can let me know. I think it's Jadeite. I hope so. So. <laughs> so I have this uh, green leaf handle dish, and it ha it is seven and a half inches across, and then eight and one fourth inches this way. So you could definitely serve like lemon wedges or candy, or use it as a catch all catch all tray dish whatever you want so pretty so yeah so i because i know from what i saw there was like a a milky jadey color or something but this one's more green uh from what i saw and this definitely came from a home that had like lots of vintage and antique collections. So I would assume <laughs> that this is a Fenton or a Jadeite. So I just love that you can see like the pretty details of the leaf. As Denise said, she likes the green nature-y colors. <laughs> Very I have tons of that stuff. <laughs> I, I do like it. 
So yeah, you can put this on display or use this even in your bathroom to hold some of your hand towels or something or your jewelry. The, the, the ideas are endless, whatever you want. <laughs> and there's no chips or cracks. Um, and if you're wondering if it glows, it does not glow, okay? And then here's the back. But it's a very pretty dish, as big as my head. And yeah, I don't see any other like markings or anything like that, but it's pretty. So that's $25. You can let me know. You don't have to wait for the speed round. Uh, and that was my item. All right. Uh, I have a set of four plates. They are going to start at $24. These are uh, Czech Bohemian plates. And it says they're hand painted. I think the gold part might be hand painted. I think the image in the center here is a transfer, but I think all the gold work on here is hand painted. So they are more of your like dessert size plates, but I'll get in close so you can see the three ladies, maybe three muses. And then it does have a beautiful gold uh, border around them. And then out here, it does have a nice gold floral design and then a gold trim around. On the back, it does say Bohemia and made in Czechoslovakia and hand painted. So these are back when they were calling themselves Czechoslovakia before they, they changed it to the Czech Republic. And the plates are just a smidge more than seven and a half inches. And they all have the same design. And this is a set of four. So I'll show you all four of them. And they really don't even look like they've been used. There's like no utensil marks on them. They are in beautiful shape. Here is the third one. Oops. God, they're perfect. And here is the fourth one. Yeah, these are in amazingly good condition. And yeah, like no utensil marks on them. And the, and the image in the center there, really fun. Yeah, that's me, uh, Trish and Denise. <laughs> 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 I'm sitting down, you guys are nine. Now you've got to behave. <laughs> <laughs> and if you missed the mark on the back, there it is. So made in Czechoslovakia, hand painted, and they are Bohemia. It's just funny that there's like three of them. There are three of them. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> and and yeah, see, she's she's got her hair up. I guess they all kind of have their, she doesn't have it up quite as much, but that one's kind of, kind of similar thing happening there. <laughs> all right. So I don't, I don't see any takers for this beautiful set of four. So we will pass on that and we'll, we'll bring them back for the speed round. And just a reminder, help us get the chat up to a hundred and we will have pickle shots and we will have giveaways. So share us mm -hmm. out and um, <laughs> and get us to a hundred. All yeah, right, <laughs> going to Denise. All righty, I've got a Disney snow globe music box and it's when you wish upon a star, it can start at $12. And it's in real good shape. It's in excellent shape. There's no chips. There's no cracks. Um, and it plays okay. 
I don't know if this is copyright type stuff or not, but I'll just try to kind of talk over it. But um, oh, but it's got um, uh, Cinderella, maybe. I don't know. Uh, tinkle, tinkle, <laughs> Tinkerbell. Tinkle. Tinkle Bell? Tinkle Bell. <laughs> well, that's a new one. Tinkle Bell. Ah, I can't remember the dog. And it ends Tinkle. Yeah. Help, the, help uh, you when you got to go tinkle. Yeah. Thanks, bud. And the things are real pretty in the snow globe. They just, oh, they just sparkle. It's kind of like a fun little snow. And the bottom's nice and clean and stuff. I don't have the box. That's the only thing. I do not have the box. It doesn't look like it was. <laughs> I don't tinkle bell. It's like <laughs> tinkle bell. Denise. I may have to tinkle bell later, but but <laughs> oh anyways, I think it's so pretty, but um anyways. And there's there's no flaws in it at all. I, I just love watching the snow. I love watching the snow almost more than the music. Nikki's like, yeehaw! It's Saturday night with Trish. Let's go. And Minnie's like, I'm in. I'm in. I got my bidding hand going. Here we go. Let's go. Let's bid on something. <laughs> What's on their oh. hands, Denise? I don't know. They look like bananas, but they're not. <laughs> you could make them look like pickles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're... I was kind of wondering that, too. I, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. They're wishing upon a star, so maybe they're maybe they caught a piece of a star. Okay. I don't know. I I oh. just kind of guess, and they're on a star. So, anyway, we can sure count that down for Mr. Mike. Thanks again, Mike. You're gonna test my packing skills. Oops. All right. Oh, we will. I'll figure out what I'm doing here. All right. Going <laughs> once. <laughs> going twice. And there it goes. Sold to Mike. Thank you so much, Mike. I'll get another Fenton coming for my next round. Okay, so uh, my item is going to uh, be for choice, starting at $20. Um, so I have two of these, so you can decide if you want one or both. Hold on, I got to grab them. Hold on. Very carefully. Hold on. Okay. Stay still. Is this the correct one? Yes. So I have two of these. I have, so these are 24 karat gold plated, a uh, blue and clear, uh, Austrian crystal flowers. And it has the original tags on them. So it says 24 karat gold plated. Austrian Crystal, uh, KGNC Incorporated. Uh, now these are a little over, what did I write? 15 and a half inches long. And, and then it's two inches in diameter on the flower. So very pretty, light blue, faceted Austrian Crystal, uh, uh, flowers. I have two of them and you can see the gold petals here. Wow, I have never seen anything like that before. Yeah, so I have a bunch of them. <laughs> the uh -huh. other ones I'm keeping because they're pink and <laughs> uh, <laughs> clear. Um, some of them or missing some of the stones. I could show you how they all look. It's like an actual, looks like an actual bouquet flowers, but these are the ones that are like in perfect condition. So very pretty. I definitely had to clean them up. They were so dusty, <laughs> whoever owed them. They just kept it in the um, 
uh, other colors. I'm keeping the pink ones very <laughs> best. But let me show you. Hold on. The director has to... Wait, can you put these back? Very carefully. So... <laughs> Hold on. I have, um, there's ones with just, like, just a plain crystal color, Mary Beth. Okay, hold on. This is very heavy. The director's here. Say hi, everyone. <laughs> hi, everyone. hi, Patrick. Uh, so this is <laughs> how I got it. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. So oh, that's pretty. I'm keeping the pink one, <laughs> um, but so if you if you notice, I can't. It's kind of heavy, but um, there's some spots that are missing. Like some of the crystals, like came off because they didn't really take care of it too well, and then they filled it with sand so to keep it in place. Oh, to to have it way more. Yeah, yeah. that was nice of them. Um, <laughs> hold on. So can you give me the Chris, one of the, I'll show you, um, Hi, happy maker. one of the Chris, just the crystal. The clear yeah. Like the clear ones. The no, just so I get this one. Sorry. They're like all together. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So see some of them have, like, as you can see, they're missing. Hmm the other stones so i had to bring you know the perfect one <laughs> for all of you out there so um, there's this clear pink and blue yeah um what's cool though is that you can switch them up here very carefully yeah. so i mean if you don't mind um, like i think you can definitely wire um some crystal stones there uh if you find any in the same size. So I have the blue ones. You can let me know if you want the clear ones. Uh, but they were $20 choice. And these were the perfect ones. I cleaned them up <laughs> and everything. But you're not getting your grubby paws on those pink ones. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to show you how it looked like because it was very, I didn't find online so yeah so those were twenty dollars choice and those are my eyes. all right well those were beautiful they they are they're great wow <laughs> all right there we go uh next up i have a piece of spode it's going to start at $22. It is a large cake plate. It is very large. Now, it almost looks like this part is indented, but it's not. This is a smooth, but it is almost like the dome slight dome shape you can see it does raise up a little bit but you can see it is flat and on the back here it does say that it's bowed england but it is italian so is the pattern italian <laughs> don't know i did not do i did not do a deep dive into this but i know that people love blue and white so i can't resist blue and white and mixing and matching into like a blue willow pattern or a blue onion pattern it'd be very nice and complimentary is somebody getting murdered in that scene what in the scene there yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, he's going after her with that stick. I don't know. Maybe he's going to push her off the hill. I don't know. Hopefully Maybe. not. Maybe he's. There, there might be a murder. Yeah. Well, he has. There's witnesses. So the animals are just looking on, like, yeah, yeah, we've seen this before. <laughs> Oh. 
But yeah, I, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> I, I really don't. <laughs> Uh, but let me get you a measurement of this. It is 11 and a half inches. And it is a beautiful pattern. And this is in such nice condition. Beautiful blue and white. And it is spode. That spud goes high online, man. Yes, it does. Yes, that's why we bring you guys the deals. We bring you the good deals. Hello, Poppy. Hi, that, would be just hang up. that would be just hang up for decoration. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we will pass on the spud, but we will bring it back. And, and just a reminder, um, I do this live sale every Saturday night. So I am the host channel. If you want to see the full chat, go ahead, come on over to my channel. Uh, but we can see you. If you came in on Denise's channel, you came in on Kim's channel, we can see you in the chat. So if you put in an offer on something, I will highlight it up. Uh, but if you want to know why maybe you're not seeing the full chat, because the majority of the people are on my channel. And uh, and I hope you can join us every Saturday or join me every Saturday with my guests. And we're going to go back to Denise. Uh, this is another one of the Fentons and it can start at $20. It's just a little, it's a little fella and it doesn't have the melon thing. It's just smooth. And it's the one that does have the Fenton uh, sticker. It's a little damaged and it's faded. But um, I, I, I even got my reading glasses out to make sure it said Fenton. So oh. yeah, I, I went all <laughs> out. Be serious. I know like, Let me get those reading glasses. <laughs> I hate wearing glasses, and I don't know, it's four inches tall. And like, if I'm driving, you don't really don't want to see me coming towards you without my glasses on. Oh my <laughs> I would, I would pull over. One night I was working evenings and I always had my glasses off while I was working. And then, anyway, so I get out to my car and I'd left my glasses. Or, so I had my prescription sunglasses. So I drove home at midnight. I look like Stevie Wonder driving home with my sunglasses <laughs> at midnight. <laughs> But I was like, I don't want to go all the way up there. <laughs> or, um, <laughs> for my stinking glasses. So I know it, it was a little bit of a challenge, but I could see better with the sunglasses than without them. So just like, oh dear. Yeah, I did, Jen. I raided a Fenton warehouse. It was a high bid, you know. It was like, man. And then, God, I had to drive to 10 buck two to get them. I was trying to bid on neckties at Jen and Christine's sale, and I was out in ten buck two in the hills and lost my signal because of the Fenton things. So, anyways, I don't think the Fenton people are here tonight. I guess not. No, I got <laughs> a couple more, but if if there's no Fenton lovers, I might like show something else because you know why waste. I know, Jen, and I would have liked to have bid on them, but man, it was just like, it was out in the middle of Nebraska in the hills, and there was just, I was losing signal, and that was that. So we'll pass on this. And yeah, she stole them from you in Nebraska. I know it. Denise, I know it. what are you doing? What are you, you know, doing? Allen, Nebraska. I hadn't been there in a while, and I tell you, the only thing there was the building with the high bit. There was a gas. Station, well. but do you have a bigger one? I do. Okay, I'll show it next turn. I promise. All right. I'll show it to you, and then I'll show it next turn. <laughs> 
Okay, so uh, my item's going to start uh, for choice at $30. So if you watched um, my haul videos, you probably saw a bunch of these. I only brought two just uh, to see. <laughs> um, so I have these like vellum. You can hear it. <laughs> it's thunder no <laughs> it's chef <laughs> okay oh my um, gosh so uh this is a 21 by 19 inches uh so oh sorry i'm like why are you backwards my bad <laughs> so this one is like spaghetti and meatballs yes there's a basket of bread there he is, with the chef hat. And then it says, quick main dish with plenty of meat. So you could definitely like frame this, put in your kitchen, or maybe if you know someone who owns a restaurant or likes cooking. So you can let me know if you like the spaghetti one. And then the other one I have, Whoops. Oh my gosh. This one is just the like, you just like the the typography and the font. So this just says Chef Boardi meal in a minute. And it's the same uh size. So it's 21 uh, by 19. Yes, they still make it. Yes, they do. Yeah, a meal in a minute. Mm -hmm. Even <laughs> faster now that you can microwave it. This still <laughs> probably takes about a minute to heat it up, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, yeah, so you can let me know if you want. <laughs> Just the a minute or whoops, the spaghetti with meatballs. Okay. And they're good for making it sound like thunder. <laughs> 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 so they're thirty dollars each. Let me know. And that was my item. All right, those are cute. Those yeah. are really cute. <laughs> and yeah, that that would be fun. Or just put them up in the family room. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh all right so uh anybody like copper out there i have a copper coffee carafe say that and... 10 times. <laughs> what's that say that 10 times oh no way i can i can barely say it one time <laughs> coffee 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 copper carafe copper <laughs> coffee carafe this is going to start at $40. Wow, that's beautiful. And this is by Princess House. Thanks. Hi, Denise. The other Denise. Yeah. <laughs> she called her Denise B, and it's like, what, me? It's like, that's me. Oh, there's another Denise. Hi, Denise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the base is made out of copper. And then it comes with this that you put the tea light candle in. Light that. And then it will keep your beverage um, warm. Could be, you know, you could use it just for hot water, too. If you're having tea and you want your hot water to stay warm, um, you can, you know, just light the candle and it'll keep it warm. It's got beautiful detailing on the leg. So there is the top or there's the bottom. And then here is the carafe. So it has a copper lid. I guess copper and brass. That little top part is brass. So there is the copper. And then that's the part 
you line that up and you want to pour you can line that up and it is just a nice glass carafe and it has a beautiful copper handle And hello, Fiona. Oh, hi, Fiona. Hi, Fiona. The carafe, just the glass of the carafe is nine inches tall. The stand is about six inches tall. And when you put these two together, so that is how it looks. So you can see the light from the candles going to, you know, come up across the bottom there and keep it nice and warm. And it stands all together about 13 and a half inches. And so that is $40. You All could right. drink pickle juice out of there. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. <laughs> you <laughs> definitely could. And you wouldn't need to keep it warm either. Oh. All right. So we're going to pass on that. But just a reminder, anything we have passed on, if you want to go ahead and claim it prior to the speed round, just let us know. And we are going to go back to Denise. I know, Fiona. I'm like that all the time. It's like a <laughs> everything. No, well, here's here's my my bigger one. And I was gonna start it at 22. And it doesn't have the sticker either. It's got a little place right here, a little like a smudgy place. And I have a feeling that the sticker was there and who knows what happened. But it is uh eight inches tall, no chips, no cracks. And if you're interested, it's number 42. Thanks, Noel. And it's in real good shape. It does look like somebody had used it like maybe as a vase or something. There's some dirt down in there. Should I put these in the dishwasher, Trish? Uh, <laughs> probably no. Need to know. Probably not. And <laughs> Murphy. And Murphy Hi. is in for 25. It really is gorgeous. And I like the dark blue. No, but you know, those sure. denture, the denture tabs work pretty good for loosening up, um, yeah. you know, dirt and stuff on the bottom. Yeah. Noelle is in at 33. It's just like on the bottom in the corners. And I don't know. You know, I go to clean it and I'd break it. And, and well. <laughs> That's not good. No. Not good I think it's so pretty. I mean, it almost looks like a, you know how shells are like the darker pink inside sometimes? Mm. Yeah. Almost reminds me of that. It's mm -hmm. so pretty. Yes. Looks like Noel 433 and Ann Murphy is it's out. All right. Out. Thank, thank you, Ann Murphy. Yes. Thank you both, you guys. Ann well, Murphy. We will and count that down for Noel. So going once, going twice, and sold to Noel. Thank you so much, Noel. I'll wrap it up and take good care of it for you. All right, and we will go back to Kim. Okay, so my item uh, is going to start at uh, $18. And I have this uh, vintage uh, Libby uh, gold leaf glass, a sugar and creamer set. And it's in the caddy. Um, now, the only thing is when I looked it up, I believe it's missing like the mini tongs, but you could get that anywhere today. 
you know. <laughs> oh, if you were using sugar cubes. Yeah. So if you had the sugar cubes in here and mm -hmm. then like the creamer in here. So let me show you. Uh, You'd be fancy if you're using sugar cubes. <laughs> yeah, fancy. So yeah, this is pretty like frosted uh, like detail with the, <clears throat> excuse me, with the gold leaves going all around. And uh, these are, uh, was it uh, two inches in diameter and three inches tall, just in case you're wondering. Yes, very Mad Men style. Thing. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Um, here's the little spout for the creamer. So just to give you another option, if you don't want to use it for sugar and creamer, I was thinking you could put a chocolate sauce in this <clears throat> and then sprinkles in this one for like ice cream or even use it in your bathroom with like Q-tips and like bath salts. Mm -hmm or whatever they're so cute and then and uh, another good option too is if you do have a bar like a madman style bar put you know your your olives or yeah. your you know cherries your you know lemon lime slices yeah this um and then this is uh eight inches across and four and a half inches uh tall but yeah just like uh, trisha said you could use it for your bar use like for whatever olives you need your olives yeah. and onions for your dirty martinis or you can tell i don't drink <laughs> <laughs> your lemons your pickled back shot Whatever you want. <laughs> so there's no chips or cracks. And this was uh, $18. And I just, I'm just, I was so excited to find one of these in the actual caddy. Yes. Your swizzle sticks could go in there if you have the fancy picks. Yeah. Um, that is a nice way to display them also. And these are, it's hard to find the caddies. For yeah. these things so that that is a really nice find yeah so, and if you find them they're always beat up and yeah you know. so this is this was very that was the party funny. house if their caddy was beat up man <laughs> they were having some serious parties <laughs> <laughs> that was the place to be <laughs> oh all right, so let me know if you're interested and I'll bring it for the speed round. All right. Yeah, that, that is a nice set. That's cool. Um, all right, the next piece I have, I'm not 100% sure on this, but the indications are that it is possibly Venetian glass. Um, the closest things I could find to it um, are, it's called Venetian gold aventurina is, is kind of in the style of. Uh, it's going to start at $20. It's a plate. So spoiler alert, it's glass. <laughs> But here it is, and it has all of these beautiful applied glass leaves. So I'm going to try to turn it this way so you can see that each one of these is an individually made glass leaf that has been applied. There is a lot of gold in these leaves. And you can't see it. And I'm going to try to put a white piece of paper behind here. And I'm going to see if you'll be able to see. But there is gold dusting all in the plate also. I know it's really hard to see. 
but it is beautiful gold dusting all throughout a little more in the center but it is also out here i know it's just like my lighting is going woo, let me make it brighter so people can't see the gold but there is beautiful gold dusting and these gorgeous applied uh applied leaves that are kind of a soft red with lots of gold in them oh there you can kind of see some of the gold yeah oh yeah in there when i get that brown behind it you can see and then it does come all the way out to the edge with the gold so again, I don't know for sure if this is, but it is in the style of um, Venetian Gold Aventurina. And there you can see it sparkling a bit in the light. Uh, the plate is eight and a half inches. And yeah, I would I would recommend getting something. I wonder if I put this darker one. Because this one's kind of that dark brown. Let me see if that oh, there you go. kind of helps show off that gold that's in there. But it is a beautiful plate. And yeah, if you like, you know, Venetian glass and applied leaves, this is a beautiful plate. All right, we will bring that one back for the speed round. And we'll go back to Denise. You would love Mad Men, Jan, because I mean, I know even the furniture, I was just like, mm -hmm. even the soap boxes, they'd have like soap and it's like, look at that. It's like, what's happening in the show? I don't know, but look at the soap box. Who knows? This next guy, I'm a little attached to him. You're going to start at $50 and I'm a little attached and I have mixed feelings about selling him, but he's Hi. a guy. He's a stiff and he's 16 inches tall. And that's really pretty cheap for him, actually. And he's got um, he's got his stiff pin and the little tag. And um, you know, he's made recently. He's copied after a 1909 bear. And I didn't realize Stife was a lady, uh, Marguerite Stiff from 1909. And it's got a little booklet or just a little just a little two-page thing that tells about Stife. And he's got a and it's got a it's a little tag that says Stife Original Bear. And I don't know, he's got all kinds of little tags and doodads all over. But he's been sitting in my bedroom for a long, long time. And it's like I've got a lot of teddy bears that I kind of inherited. And, you know, but if he, he found a new home, it'd be okay. But he's that real soft mohair. Um, it's, it's not just a stuffed stuff thing. Oh, he is Lynn and he stuffed real hard. I don't know what they stuffed him with. You know, the originals were like, um, straw and, um, he's got, I don't think he's straw. I, you know, he feels softer than that. He's real hard, but I don't think he's straw. And he's got the movable arms and the movable legs. And he says, I'm kind of want to cry. I'm up here on the auction block. You're going to, you're going to get rid of me. Don't you love me anymore? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Patty Paws. Patty. Hi, Patty Paws. The bears are kind of an issue because I was like, I'm going to sell a bear. And, I kept looking through different bears and it's like, they're just looking at me like, hey, you're going to sell me. It's like, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, we won't, we won't sell you. But Mr. Stife here, and I, I got him as bad as stuff. I mean, I'm sitting there thinking, I hope nobody buys him because he doesn't want to go. Once he was out of my house, yeah, I'd be okay. But oh my, 
Oh, I know having having a stipe, that's a special thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he is he's pretty cool and he's in perfect shape. I mean, I know he's not a real 1909 bear. But um you know, he's still, he's still a real stife. <laughs> yeah, he's still he's still stife and they are they are pricey little numbers. So anyways, and mm -hmm. I always have to guard him against you know who. Oh yeah. So Anyways, we can pass on him and he'll come back and it's okay. I think you're gonna All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he gets uh, to stay with you a little longer. I know. I'm kind of glad. <laughs> uh, so my item's going to start at $18. So Denise had a bear. I have a bunny. <laughs> so I have this like cobalt blue. Glass bunny. Oh, isn't she a figurine lidded jar? Ooh, look at that, Kim. Yeah, she's working on the question, guys. She's working on it. Huh? What happened? No, oh, go ahead. Oh. I was, <laughs> I was like, did, did I miss a question? <laughs> no, no. For, for Denise. Oh, okay. <laughs> for a date. Oh, I'll look, Mary Beth. So uh, this cute little bunny, she has like dress. She has a little dress, her collar, and then here's the back of her. And here's the bottom. There's no chips or cracks um, now, so you can take this off. Put your secret stash of cookies or. Money, jelly beans, <laughs> jelly beans <laughs> pickles, you know, <laughs> or, balls. or even twinkle lights. Um, so this is um six and three fourth inches tall and a little over three inches across in diameter, but very cute, perfect for you know springtime and summertime. Um, and I just want to see, whoops, let's see. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to really see the blue color, but if you put some twinkle lights in here, that would be really cool. Or it's in the window. very pretty. There she is. <laughs> so, yeah, so she's $18, no chips or cracks. And then here's for size reference. And you can let me know if you're interested and show it in the uh, speed round. Oh, Allison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Off with her head. Yeah. See, whoa. <laughs> Off with her head. <laughs> Except this this is a different bunny. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this was $18. Let me know if you're interested. And that was my item. Wow, that is awesome. I have never seen a glass bunny like that. Isn't it cute? Fantastic. Yeah. That would be so cute. Just keep that in your bathroom and put, you know, Q-tips or cotton balls or something in there and just enjoy it. That is great. <laughs> Find practical uses for these things so we can have them in our lives. Um. All right, I have next a, I think it's Napco. And it is a December Angel. Now she is going to start at $20. So there's the December. She has her little cardinal and a little light post with holly. She has her little carol book. There's her wings. They're in great shape. She's got a little gold halo on top. All she has is a number on the bottom. The tag is gone. But this awesome little December angel. And she is in fantastic condition. Oh, cute. 
and let's see she is just about five inches tall and it's a good opportunity to get her now before the december christmas craze comes along Oh, yeah, especially now. No one's, you know, <laughs> you'll get a good advantage of getting Christmas decor. That's right. She's got beautiful blue eyes. All right. We will pass on the angel. And we'll go back to Denise. And I've got a set of knives. They can start at $18. And they're in this little holder. The holder says Burks. It's, they aren't by Burks. But whoever had them had Burks, which means they had money. Burks is like the Tiffany of Canada. And there's four knives, and they're all the same. And they say glasses. <laughs> they say stainless, made in Sheffield, England, and then it says fir first, not first, but F-I-R-T-H. And they're mother of pearl, and they're, I'm sure they've never been used. This part could be silver. I don't know. Um, it's magnetic, but apparently the this part, which is magnetic, I think goes all the way up into here because even the mother of pearl part is magnetic. So I think the thing goes all the way up in there. And each knife is six and a half inches long. They're just like little butter knives or something. But they're, um, I don't know if I'll ever get this focusing thing down. I don't think I probably will. But, um, this mother of pearl is really pretty. And all four of them are in real good shape. Yeah, they're real elegant. They they don't belong in my house. That's for dying sure. <laughs> there's there's no elegant going on here. They would go good with Kim's um little things in that holder. You can have your <laughs> knives. And I don't know why you would have just the knives and not anything else, but that's that's how I got them. That's how they that's how they came. A lot of times I'll find these kinds of things and the mother of pearl is always cracked and yellowed. and It's like they're just brand new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Out of the past into, into our future. Yeah, those are in really nice condition. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they kept them in this little cloth thing, which, you know, probably is the reason they're mm -hmm. so nice. But, um, you know, just even to kind of display them is is kind of neat you know it wants to focus way back here and then you get closer and jen's fingers don't work jen's <laughs> magic fingers do not work it makes me kind of i have <laughs> anger issues over the fingers jen jen get your fingers in there see she just goes like this and then it focuses well but she's a lot closer to the camera than you are also i'm only well, I don't no, know. but I know, but she's, yeah, she's holding them like there and then. Yeah, you got to go like really, really close. Like really close. I mean, I'm like two inches from the camera. That's or like... cover your face and then go really close. There I know. There goes. Goes. Yeah, the covering there of goes. face does help a lot. Oh, Mike's in. Thanks, Mike. And it's got <laughs> really pretty. Um, They do have pretty design, this part here. Hey, Denise, you, don't be afraid. Get it closer. Yeah, closer. <laughs> And then in the meantime, my arms, my lactic acid in my arms is like <laughs> <laughs> build it up. You know, we're talking female fat fair, not 40s, but 40s plus, let's say. Anyway. <laughs> we'll count those down for Mike. Mike, thank you so much, Mike. We're going once. Nice. Going twice. And sold to Mike. Thank you so much, Mike. These are these will be a little easier to pack. It's like they'll fit in anywhere. Thank you so much. 
Okay, so my item's going to start at twelve dollars. Okay. Ah, hold on. All right, so I have a book, and it's called The Wonders of the Seasons. And this is from 1966. Um, so you can see there is somewhere on the bottom, someone really used this book. <laughs> and as you know, it shows the wonders of the seasons, of all four seasons in here so you have this is the inside cover so it says the summer evening summer evening you have a spring morning my favorite spring <laughs> and then the back you have a winter night And a fall afternoon. That's me on the swing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she has uh, dark hair like me. So, so yes, here's the front. And I really like because it looks like um like colored pencil. The way they did the illustrations in here. So, there's a dog. Dog, there's a <laughs> there's a bunny with a boy holding a bunny. Oh man, it's late for me. I'm like, it's a dog. The other dogs. Yeah, the other the dogs. Look like rabbits. A bunny yeah. dog. <laughs> there's a dog at home. Well, I mean, you can take them for a walk too. It works. Yeah, do whatever you want. <laughs> so see April showers bring May flowers because it's been raining a lot over here. <laughs> so they're cute. walking to an estate sale. Yeah. And then here on a the horse. There's the beach. <laughs> And then here's the fall. Look at this. This kid's like in the leaf. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, wait, where, where, what's attached to that leg? <laughs> he's like, he's poor girl. She's cleaning and he's like, I'm going to make more of a mess. Yeah, I guess so, Christy. <laughs> it was funny because... Uh, Patrick was about to make me a drink tonight, and I said, "You know what? Actually, don't make me a drink because um, I don't want to accidentally break something or just like." Oh, <laughs> ay, ay. oh the snowman! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and then they're gardening. So yeah, so this was for twelve dollars. If anyone was interested in this book, very cute uh, illustrations of all the seasons. And yeah, uh, if this is the only thing that you get, I can ship it on uh, media mail. All right, so let me know if you're interested and I can show it again. Oh, there's the dog. <laughs> I can show it again. <laughs> In the speed round, there's the dog. <laughs> All right, that was my item. <laughs> that is really cute. They did a great job on that one. <laughs> All right, I have got another. Well, this one isn't, I guess it could be a cake plate or it could be a platter. This is, uh, I think this is made in England. It is called English Rose. And it is by Roy Kirkham. And I'll show you the back. But it's a beautiful English Rose. And this is 12 inches. So it's a really nice size platter, 12 inches. And here is the back. 
So English Rose, an exclusive design, Roy Kirkham, Fine Bone China, made in England, and it's from 1992. So it's 30 years old. I don't know if this was ever used. I don't really see any utensil marks on here. It is gorgeous. So let me get in here close. And Roy Kirkham and this English rose pattern, um, a lot of different dishes, um, different style dishes went with this pattern also. So if you if you like this, this is one that you can expand your collection on and get other complementary pieces to go with this pattern. So you could end up with, you know, a whole serving set, but aren't these roses done so nicely? They just have so much depth to them, so much life. Is that hand painted on there? You know, I don't think so. I don't see brush marks, but it does... It, there's very possibly there's a like a coating of something on top of here. I don't know. Um, it's just it's, beautiful. It's yeah. very smooth. 1992, I don't think so. But I don't know how they got this image on here. But I'm going to say it's probably a transfer. But it's a really nice one. And again, this plate is in like new condition. It is beautiful. So a 12 inch platter, Roy Kirkham, Bone China, made in England, 1992. And we'll pass on that. And we'll go back to Denise. And this purse is going to sell for $50. It's a black leather fossil purse and i actually bought it at the fossil store in the days when i had more money to waste <laughs> and this like and um got the fossil tag on there and you can either carry it like um the other side's got lots of zippers you know the old style fossil i don't like the new fossils but it's like really soft and stuff and um you can either carry it with the handle like that or else this part can kind of flip over like that and then it can be more of a cross body and i mean the handle you can adjust to the length but um i think that's how i carried it was with the handle or with the the cross body the insides clean i did use it but um oh mikey goes is there leather do i smell leather yes you smell leather <laughs> And, and the inside's pretty clean. I mean, I did use it. I found a tape measure in it when I first got it out. I don't know what I was. I think I always had a tape measure because I always, you know, junk and I always like had to measure furniture and stuff. It's it's really got Mikey excited. He's like, oh, God, that smells good. <laughs> um, Can I roll in it? <laughs> I don't carry, well, two things. I can't carry a leather car purse because if I have it in the car, driving, distracted, you know, talking on the YouTube channels <laughs> instead of paying attention. Shopping while driving. <laughs> yeah, it'll get, it'll get chewed up by the boys. And it's also bigger than what I carry. I'm just a phone and billfold girl now. I don't carry a lot. Oh, I know it is. It's like butter. It's just so soft soft and smooth <laughs> and, and i know i think oh god i should use it yes mikey come here you can smell you can smell the leather he's like there's leather i woke up for the leather yes <laughs> you can't have it though See? oh he's like oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh that was so exciting <laughs> make me a toy out of that i don't think so Oh. Anyways, I don't see any interest, but um, it really, and when I bought it probably 12 years ago, 
it was like a few hundred dollars. I mean, it's like, where was my head? I don't even know where my head was. It's just like, I like that. I need that. I'll have <laughs> it. So anyways, it'll be on the speed round. <laughs> All right. And we'll go back to Kim. Okay. So my item's going to start at $16. And I have this beautiful uh, multicolor uh, hand painted floral plate. Oh, it's a purse. And it has, like, if you look closely, it has these really pretty rays, like the embossed fancy details. We like a fancy edge here. And then. There's um, like these hand-painted daisies. I'm not sure for all of you who know flowers. I think it's a thistle. A thistle? What, you, what okay. do you guys think in the chat? I'm I'm thinking that's a thistle. Oh. But I'm not sure. Oh, God. Or a pulp, Jack in the pulpit? I don't know. Yeah, maybe thistle and daisies. I'll go with that. <laughs> uh, and then it, it has like um like this soft peachy like green and blue colors on the edge. Yeah. So yeah, me too. But maybe it's a thistle. <laughs> uh, this is um seven and a half inches across in diameter, and in the back it says. Germany. So it'll be very pretty to display. And I just love, you know, usually you don't really see, um, like whenever I find these, it's just like a regular round plate. But I like that they even did like the edges, like with yeah, that airbrush. Pretty. It's pretty. Yeah. Purple it's color. Nice with all the colors. Yeah. So you can definitely put this on display for spring and summer with your flower um floral displays if you have a gallery wall mm -hmm. there's no chips or cracks but the details on the edge so pretty and yeah this is for size reference so yeah so this is 16 dollars let me know if you're interested and that was my item yeah, they did a nice job with that one. Yeah. We love our flowers here. <laughs> we don't know what they are, but we love them. <laughs> <laughs> we like them. <laughs> Be whatever you want. <laughs> they're pretty. That's, that's good enough that they're pretty. <laughs> All right. Well, I have got a... It's... It's a holder and a candle holder. It's it's two in one. So it is a clear glass bowl. And then you have this brass insert that is the candle holder. Oh. So you put that in there. Now, I, I'm imagining this was, you know, back in the day when potpourri and stuff was very popular. You would fill this with the potpourri and then you would heat it up and the scent would release and very nicely scent your room. You know, so that would be nice with, you know, wild flowers. You could do that with lavender you could do that with also so that you put a candle in there, it heats it up and it releases the scent. But, um, but yeah, you can still get potpourri and, and all that good stuff. You could add essential oils to it that would help heat it up. But, um, but yeah, it is a nice glass bowl. And then you have this brass insert that sits right on top, and then that is your candle holder. I don't think, let me see if I have my, um, where did I put my candles? 
Okay, my candles were just, I thought, right here. And, oh, I must have moved them to where I thought a better spot would be. But it's not. Hmm. All right, well, I don't know where my, my candles are, but I'll give you a little measurement on this. So it is about five inches tall. And, oh, it's got a sticker on it. Hang on. I'll read the sticker, too. And about seven? No, it's almost eight inches wide. So five inches tall, eight inches wide. And the sticker says, oh, crate and barrel. So that is a crate and barrel. Here it is. Made in USA. And you could put anything in here. You could put a little village in here and then put a candle in. <laughs> Nothing stopping you from doing that. But yeah, so really nice, nice design on that one. So that is $18 for the crate and barrel glass glass holder and candle holder. So we are going to go back to Denise. And these are gonna start at $12. They're not glass. They're like a funky plastic stuff. I don't know. Um, I don't know if they're resin. Oh, I should have been really coordinated and gotten my light while I was. But, but they've got the little babies connected and everything. No, they don't glow. So I'm not sure what they are, but they're like a plastic material. And um, the babies, their eyeballs, their eyes are a little bit mean looking. They're kind of like, what are you going to strap to mom for? <laughs> we And mom's like, oh, my God, I'm not getting any sleep at all. But, but they're in real good shape. I was kind of shocked when I found, found them. Usually I find them, you know, the chain's gone and, you know, they're, and there's no marks that I can see of any kind. I'm sure they're Japan from the 60s. Oh, wait, I lied. I just spied a mark. Hang on just a second. And we've got Christy in at 12 and hello, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Oops. Oh, it says Hong Kong. It says oh. made in Hong Kong, and then it says 26 VA. I don't know what that is, but it's real hard to make out. But it's, it's, uh, you know, if you had gin fingers, you could get that to focus in no time. I don't know. Oh, there, it's starting to, but it's right there, and it's embossed. It's not like printed. It's like an embossed thing. And I was kind of surprised, too. The paint's all really nice. You know, their eyes and the spots and everything are really nice. So, um, these little babies are nothing but trouble. Oh, there. There we go. There we go. And the mom is, um, the mom's four inches tall. She's got some long legs going on there. I think we can count that down to Christy. I don't see any other um, interest. All right, going once, going twice, and sold to Christy. See you in a week or so, Christy. Bye. <laughs> that has Christy written all over it. Okay, so my item's going to start at $16. And I have, uh, I brought copper as well. It's like me and Trisha were in nice. the thing. We were in sync. <laughs> we're in sync. So I have this cute, like, round copper. I guess you could say it's a bird or a chick. I don't know. I mean, a chick is a bird, you know, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> A wall decor, so you can hang this on the wall. Very cute. And then 
Uh, this is this um has the sticker label over here, and it says solid copper made in a uh, Korea. So it's solid copper, everyone. Okay, I'm not lying. <laughs> so and we got Jan in. Thank you, Jan. Uh, so yeah, so this is five and three fourth inches. Uh, in diameter. So cute. Yeah, good morning, Jan. My brain is kind of like, huh? <laughs> you can see I'm a little delirious right now. Um, but very cute. If there's no one else, we can start to do the countdown. We're oh. <laughs> oh. No. Going once, no. going twice, and sold to Jan. Thank you, Jan. Nice one. I don't Very think I've ever cute. seen a little chick like that before. That's cute. Yeah. It's a nice, nice size, not too big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, easier to display a nice size like that. All right, I've got a $16 start, and I have a little Made in Japan. Although she's not marked, I'm 99.9% .9 positive that she is Made in Japan. This cute little lady geisha doll. I'll get in. Yep, she's got little feet. She's got a beautiful robe on. Her hands, let's see. I think her face is porcelain. I'm not sure about her hands, although they do kind of feel the same. I don't know. I'm not sure. They could be also. And then in her hand here, I am not sure what this is. I think that's part, is that, is she like holding a hat or something? So I feel like, or a tambourine maybe? I don't know. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, I don't know. It is hard to determine what this is. It's very ornate, though. I think she got in a fight with the girlfriend and pulled her hair out. Oh. <laughs> maybe, she, maybe she had extensions. Yeah. She, that could be. She, she pulled out the extensions. She's like, no, you're not doing extensions around me. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking those babies. <laughs> She's got a beautiful flower adornment in her hair. And then she's got it up in a bun on top. Her outfit is just lovely. Mike, you know how the girls are. They can be vicious. Bye, Chan. Bye, Aaron. <laughs> Good night, guys. Thanks for joining us. Bye, and Jenna. She is. Bye, Erin. Uh, just about 10 inches tall. And we will count that down for Mike. Well, going once, going twice. And sold to Mike. Thank you, Mike. And we will go back to Denise. Jan is so good. She has her bedtime. I don't care what's going on. I don't care if a tornado is coming through town. 
it's bedtime. <laughs> it's like, sorry, tornado, but I'm. No, I know exactly what time I have to get up in the morning. I know how much sleep I'm going to need. I'm going to bed now. <laughs> I got very structured. Um, the high bid place, they said, they called this opalescent, which it is. And then they said, possibly Duncan. I don't know. It, I don't know. It could be. I, I have don't. seen that shape identified as, as Duncan Miller also. So that's a good chance mm -hmm. of what it is. There's no marks on it. There's just this like a round circle. Oh, and this is 25. And it's very pretty. Oh, she had lots of rain. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's it. Lots of rain there. Wow. We were almost 90 degrees today. I I didn't Holy enjoy it. Holy smokes. I know. I just didn't wow. enjoy it. That, that's early to be hitting 90s. I know. I did not enjoy it. I don't like the heat. I'll take the snow. I'll take the cold. I'd rather be out there snow blowing. I mean, I don't, I don't like it that cold, but I really don't like it. Out. Yeah, it really is sweet. It's um four inches tall. It's hard with the heat. I mean, with the cold, you can add layers. You know, yeah. you can add gloves, add a scarf, add a hat. You know, socks, boots. You can, you can adjust your layers. When it's hot, it's just hot. There's only so much you can strip off. And it's you can't hot. Sweat. You start sweating in places that you didn't even know you owned. It's like, oh my God. Like, oh, yeah. Mom, mom turned her heat off. We know it's hot because mom said, I think I need to turn the heat off. It's like, oh. <laughs> do you think? We hit 90. Um, okay. Maybe the house will warm up enough on its own. Oh, yeah. I'm always over there going like, oh. <laughs> Anyways, I don't see any interest in Mr. Duncan here. So we will bring Duncan back to. Yeah. Now that is an older piece, guys. That, yeah. that definitely is an older piece. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what Mother's Day is going to bring, don't you? <laughs> if these don't sell. <laughs> Mom's oh, going to get her china cabinet filled up. <laughs> I these things for you. She's already seen them. She's she like, has. wait a minute. If they don't sell, that's. Anyways, we'll pass on that. Did you happen to check and to see if that piece glowed? It doesn't. You know, it, it seems it like okay. at first I thought it did, but then I think it's just picking up the um the opalescence, the purple from the from the flashlight. You know. Mm. I don't know. It kind of seems like it does, but then I don't know. But it, it's purple. And I mean, it's just the purple color of the light. So uh, I don't think, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Anyways. All right. We will pass on that. Okay. So my item is going to start at uh, $14. Okay. Now this, I believe, would be a coloring book, I guess. Yeah, so I have here a turn-of-the-century poster designs. It says 38 designs rendered by Ed uh, Sibbett Jr. Uh, now this is from 1978. Hold on. What does it say? I think it says 1978-1989. They got two years there. So around that time. But it shows, has all these uh, illustrations. I'll show you what they are first in here. And then here's the back. Of all the... The poster designs that you can color oh. Whoops. That's cool. yourself. So um, that's just to show you. Okay. 
<laughs> what uh, the designs are in here. So yeah, so you can, it's never been colored. You can color it however you like. And then you can frame these or scan these so you can keep um, making them, you know, over and over. Yeah, so many of those are the beautiful, like turn of the century Art Nouveau style. Oh, love it. Yeah. Oh, I like that bicycle. <laughs> Built for how many? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. That's funny. At least six. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine coordinating with that many people. <laughs> A lot of fun designs in here. And then there are some. Um, so let's see. There are some in here that are, gosh, every time I turn a page, it's like, I don't want to skip you <laughs> so you can see it. Um, hold on. Let me get to, there are, let me get, where'd you go? Oh, yeah. So there are some that are like this way. Oh, nice. So, Old page. This person's tired <laughs> down here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's, that's, that'll be me going to sleep later. Yeah, so then there's, <laughs> there's some that are like this way. And. What are we doing? Yeah, there's, there's so many. Pretty designs that you can. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Pat. Hello, Patrick. <laughs> you want the old Daisy? Yeah, I'll write you down for that. Thank you. Oh, nice, Patrick. That's a beautiful one. Uh, Patrick, just in case, I think I have your info, but if you could just email me again, um, uh, just to be safe. <laughs> well, thank you. I'll write you down for that. Come and make your yes. Yeah, so I don't see any takers for this, but just so you don't, this none of these have been colored in. Um, oh, this was those are gorgeous for fourteen dollars. So if you scan them and if you're really great at crafting, oh my gosh! Look, Trish, I found one for you. There's a cat Yay. and a teacup. And chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, yeah. So, this is $14. Um, never been used. I didn't show everything or else I'll be here all night. <laughs> oh, that is a wonderful coloring book. Oh, Fiona oh. is in for that one. Oh, thank you, Fiona. So, we can calm it down for awesome. you. I'll show you more stuff while Trisha's counting it down. So going once. Going twice. And sold to Fiona. Thank you, Fiona. If you could also email me uh, your info. Uh, that'd be great. You can email me here at omvintage at gmail.com. Thank you so much. All righty. I have got a $15 start. And hi, Trina. Hi, Trina. I've got a nutcracker. A nutcracker. <laughs> Now, this is described as a Slavic. What makes it Slavic? I don't know. The style, the shape, the design? No idea. But this was described as Slavic. It is, it is, of course, carved in the shape. And then there is a design also carved in here. And it has like 
this little part that I guess it's kind of like a wheel. That's got a really cool detail on it. So it does have two indents here where you would put the nut and then open it up. That's it must be strong. Here. It is eight inches long. And yeah, it's really well made. <laughs> yeah, don't get your finger in there. That's, oh, that's yeah. definitely going to hurt. <laughs> but it's got a beautiful carved design in here. It's really nice. And then on the handle here, it's also got a beautiful carved design. And then here is the other side. And then that wheel, all with this little etching design. Really nice. And then there is the little carved out piece where the nut goes. And a really cool nutcracker. Or if you just like wood, that's just kind of a cool piece just to have kind of sitting on a table somewhere. It's like its own little piece of art. There's a lot of engineering in that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. There is. It's, it is. They, they thought of it when they made this. Mm -hmm. Really well done show it that way too using the handle so that is 15 for mm -hmm. the nutcracker oh mary beth is in thank you mary beth and i will count you down we're going once Going twice. And sold to Mary Beth. Oh, I didn't even highlight you. There you go. <laughs> sold to Mary Beth. Thank you, she's Mary gonna, Beth. She's going to feel left out. <laughs> nah. <laughs> and we'll go back to Denise. I have a little Rick and Ida kitty cat for twelve dollars starting good it's in real good shape no chips no cracks or anything she's really cute i like her a lot she was in a box downstairs and it's like i pulled her out it's like what are you doing in the basement little girl you need to get out and get some fresh air and, and see the world so and she's got the um the normal markings on the bottom the normal, oh, it focused. Oh my <laughs> God, it focused. I'm just going to say, it's a miracle. I know it. I know it. But she's so cute. If she doesn't get sold, she'll go on my, my shelf. I have a little shelf with a few kitty cats. And she would like to join them if she doesn't go to see someone else. And she's kind of the normal Rick and not a size. It seems like they're all the same size, like three and a half inches. Oh, thank you, Ann Murphy. I don't, um, I don't know if they've made any like great big pieces or bigger pieces or not. I don't know, but, um, I don't know either. All the ones I have found are, yeah, right about that same size. Yeah. And I love that butterscotch enamel paint hi julie julie is in for 13 yeah this is this is a crazy good price julie i, I could just send her she could come walking up to your house <laughs> <laughs> and murphy is at 15 is she that close to you well like 70 miles oh well that's for iowa that's pretty close yeah <laughs> <laughs> well she's in south dakota oh <laughs> But, you know, I'm terrible. I never remember where anybody is. 
I don't usually. <laughs> I barely I remember just, names. I'm not I good at that. Remember, I just remember because used to go shopping up there all the time. They've, they've got, well, it's been a while. It's been 13 years, but um, they've got some nice Goodwills and stuff up there. And antique stores and different things. Thank you, Julie. You too. I know I love to see you in the chat because I think you're the um, Robert that passed away. He was in, um, I always want to think Marshalltown and that's not right. I think it was Mason City, which is a little further, but I always considered him a neighbor too. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got, I've got all kinds of things that remind me of, of him around. He had bought some little glass candy corn and he said, make a box for me. And then he passed away. And it's like, God, I look at those damn candy corns and make no. me cry. Yeah. And then I started putting jewelry on my flower pots. It's like, He's up, he's probably upstairs laughing, going, Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he left a mark. He yeah. Did. A good he mark. Good. He was he just seemed like a nice guy. Yep. Thank Looks you, like Ann Murphy. And like Julie Sterner is in. We will count that down for Julie. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Julie. Thank you so much. You'll come walking, or she, it's a she. She'll come walking up your way, Julie. Thank you so much. All right. And we will go to Kim. Okay. Uh, so my item is going to start at uh, $12. And it is for... Uh, this white and gold gilded uh, floral uh, mini vase. So it has, uh, looks like a daisy to me, right? <laughs> uh, it has all these pretty flowers, shiny gold details. And I love that it like continues all the way down here. And then in the back, it's just a plain solid white, but it has the same uh, like a uh, pattern over here. Now there, I don't know if this is just like a manufacturer defect or something, whoever made it, but it looks like it has like a faint yellow mark here. So it could be from whoever had it, maybe it was in the sun or something, uh, but it's a nice little short, mini vase if you want to put just a little bit of flowers or your pencils or brushes in here and then here's the inside there's no marking on the bottom but it's a nice little short vase and this is um a three and five eighth inches tall and a little over two inches across in diameter but very cute nice little size you could put it on your desk or in your bathroom heck put q-tips or um your toothbrushes in here right. <laughs> whatever you want or a toothpaste um, holder yes um, <laughs> the fancy things uh, so yeah so this is uh 12 dollars there's no chips or cracks and i like that you can if you don't want the gold uh side and you just want the plain white base, you can just turn it around. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, exactly, Thomas. <laughs> so this is uh, $12. You can let me know if you're interested, and I can show it again this week round. All right. Uh, I have another wooden piece. This is going to start at $15. Uh, this one, I don't know where it was made or by who, but it is this nice piece that you could have, you know, just displayed on a tabletop or you could hang it. And it is just a one-sided wood carving with these two birds on it. The back is just plain. So it'll, you know, go up flush against a wall. 
or if you have it on a table top up against a wall, it'll sit nice and, and flush to it. I'll get in close so you can see a nice wood carving. And you can see the two birds. And then there is the handle on top. It is a nice thick piece of wood. Uh, let's see. It is just a smidge more than half an inch. And total size is about 13 by nine and a half. So 13 by nine and a half. It's a nice size. And really neat that it's all carved out of one piece. And you can see on the back that it is all connected and carved out of one piece. They did a beautiful job on it. Is it real lightweight? Looks it like is. It. Oh, it's I think it's basswood. Yeah, it's really lightweight wood. I mean, I can I can hold that with my pinky like super easy. So even though, yeah, even though it's big and it's wood, it's like super lightweight. It looks like basswood and it's real lightweight. Yeah, so it would be really easy to hang this on, on a wall. All right, but we will pass on that. We'll let you think about it. And we'll go back to Denise. This is $12. It's a crib cover or bedspread, whatever. And it measures 54 by 39. And it's how much? 12. 12, okay. And it's um, it's chenille, the little bear. Bear or clown or clown bear or whatever is a chenille material. And there's no stains. There's no holes. It's not real heavyweight. Then it's got um, a chenille line going around the outside, too. But it could be a boy or a girl because it's got pink and blue. And it's got some yellows in there, too. But um, I'm, I'm guessing it's crib size. I don't know. It's not super huge, but I don't know, 54, it's just about, you know, I wonder if I measured that wrong because I'm 5'3". Yeah, that would be about right. Yeah, that would be right. I was thinking something else. So, but um, something's a little... Oh, six. 60 inches is five 60, foot. So, yeah, yeah, 60. That's, that's what I, I know for a second. That's, that's what I <laughs> Wait a minute, this should be as tall as me, but no. Wait a minute, we're getting a little too late at night for math. For, for I know people. it, I know it. A lot of people do crafts with these. They'll make pillows or or something out of them. But I thought that bear was so cute. But he was living in my basement too. He said, I was living down there in one of those damn tubs with that cat. And, but um. anyways... I don't see any interest in it, so we can move on to the next thing, I guess. It would be great in a baby's room, you know. It would be. So we'll let you guys think about that. We'll bring it back for the speed round. Um, but as a reminder, if you see something that we have for sale, you'd like to claim it uh, before the speed round, Thanks, just Jen. let us know. And we will go back to Kim. Okay, so my item's going to start at $12. And I have another book. And it's a big book. <laughs> it's a child's book of stories. And this is from 1986. So it says, best known and best loved tales from around the world. Okay. Here's the front of the book. Here's the back of the book. Um, now, 
There's some stories that I've never heard of, like this one. And it has pretty illustrations in here. So this one's called The Goose Girl. Have any of you heard about The Goose Girl? I don't know. No. That nice doesn't hair. sound familiar. She has nice golden hair. <laughs> and then, let's see. Now, this one is different. So instead of Snow White, they called her Snowdrop. And the seven little dwarfs in this one. Unless it's like their own version of Snow White. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hello. Oh my gosh. And then you have Hansel and Gretel. See a lot of different stories in this book. Um, and you have Jack and the Beanstalk. So I really like all of the illustrations in here. There's a lot of stories, as you can see, I'm trying to get to the pictures. <laughs> But they're like mixed in there. So yeah, so that's the majority. And then let me see. Um, there's actually just so you have an idea, there's like let me see, there is about four hundred uh, and 63 pages in this book. So you will never uh, <laughs> run out of stories in here. <laughs> so, you know, so, you have, so this one's different. It says Snow White and Rose Red in this photo. So I don't see any takers, but you can think about that. And that was for $12. All righty. I have um, a lot of brass buttons. There are 30 brass buttons all together. Some there's like some there's just one of, some there's a pair, and some there are more of. Um, they are going to start at $18 for the 30 buttons. And let's see. I'll show you. Let me start. I'll start at one end here, and then I'll go. I cut them on, I cut them on the little plate. So this one, there are oops, two same design, but two different sizes. And well, some, most of them I think are brass. Some are, are a metal. This one, I'm not sure. So maybe just a metal on this one. So there's one. I've got, ooh. Oh, this is hard. This pair, and I'm going to try to get them in here so we can see the design. Oh, does it go that? Because some of these, I just don't know what it is or which way it goes. I'm going to need need the magnifier, I think. You do. I'm not sure what this one is, but I'll show it. There's two of these. Oh. Maybe an eagle like that. So there's two of those. There's one of these, and this one is silver. Okay, then I've got two of these, but I also have this design as a bigger two bigger ones also. So there's the back. And then 
this is this like the same design but in bigger then this one i have one each now that kind of looks it looks kind of similar to the other also like an eagle and thank you fiona they look like military buttons some of them i think yeah. are military <laughs> then this one Let's see maybe that maybe that way just one of those uh one of these then there's one of these it's got like a lion i think on it uh this one kind of looks like a presidential seal with the eagle that's the air force air force button. okay yeah. thank you then let's see i've got one of these I think that's goes like that. Uh, let's see, one of these. Uh, one that's just plain. That one's kind of boring. Got to have one boring one in the bunch. This one, just one of these, and it is a little bigger. That's got kind of a cool raised design on it. Uh, there's two of these. Little lions on them. And then this one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of these. Let's see which way this goes. Oh, there's a little crown on top. And I'm not sure what that is. But there's nine of those. And then there's, I think, Eagle Scout. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these little ones. And they say Eagle. But I can't say as though I have ever seen hmm. an Eagle Scout button or but yeah, like a button, but there's six that size. And then there's four of these larger ones. So pretty cool, but there's 30 in all. And I've got them all up here. There we go. So 30 in all and really cool variety that you could you know put on a you know a jean jacket or something you know swap out the buttons and have some fun with those but i do have fiona in and thank you fiona and i will count you down going once going twice and sold to fiona thank you and we will go back to denise all righty i got a bluebird of happiness for ten dollars Woohoo! and i haven't really noticed any increase in my happiness since i've had the bluebird in my house no they, oh they say that is a shame I, but they say it's a bluebird of happiness and it is signed by Leo Ward, uh, 1991, 19, yeah, 1991. It looks kind of like 71, but it's 91. I don't think he was making these in 71, so. but that's up. But he's a nice little bird, no chips, no cracks. He is um, four and a half inches long. So I've had smaller ones. I think I've had bigger ones. I don't know, but um, they do. They make them smaller. I don't know if they make them much bigger. That one looks like the big. Yeah, 
How big yeah. was it again? Two inches or three inches? No, um, from his nose to the end of his tail, about four inches from no, here. No, tall. Oh, tall. tall. Tall, yeah. Tall. He's two and a half inches tall. Okay, I think they make a bigger one. I think the, the big one is three, three inches. So that's probably the medium one. But I think they make a small and I think they make a mini. I just figured it was however much glass they blobbed down on their thing for the day. And <laughs> <laughs> I remember vacationing and seeing these all over in the 90s and stuff, 80s and 90s, I think. And at the time, I just thought, oh, those are nothing. But now people are, man, people are hot for them. He so. was busy making all of those. Oh, yeah. I bet he had a bunch of I'm blue sure. happiness bluebird workers <laughs> the bluebird crew oh we're both here to bug me no you don't get the bluebird oh you guys are happy they're happy oh it's, they're happy it's working well, you're, well, you're gonna make julie happy too oh yes well julie <laughs> a bird and a cat i don't know it's a great combination in the same box but we'll give it a try <laughs> so we can sure well, they'll have, have they'll have stuff separating them. They'll, yeah, they'll yeah, yeah. We'll have some bubble wrap in there, most likely. <laughs> yeah, but we can count that for Julie. I think. That's All right. It. Thank you so much, Julie. So going once, going twice. And sold to Julie. Thank you, Julie. And that was. <laughs> okay, so my item's going to be uh, for choice, uh, starting at $14 uh, each. And I have um, two of them. So these are, I guess you could say they're like wrapping paper slash poster yeah because you can definitely use it as a poster and wrapping paper so this is like a wedding theme uh wrapping paper slash poster and oh, this wow 28 and a half inches by 20. oh that's cool whoa so let me give a close-up of it. So you have like a flower girl on each side. And then the couple. And there's like cherubs and like a flower garland. And you can see the horse carriage in the back. Very pretty. Uh, now... Oops. Being very careful with this. <laughs> so it says it's by, uh, it's a Gordon. Hold on. So you can see it's a Gordon Fraser wrapper printed in England. Ooh, nice. So I have two of these. If anyone's interested. So you could use one for wrapping and one for a poster. <laughs> uh, I just thought they're really uh, pretty. Um, they're gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. So they're $14 each. And, you know, if you know someone getting married or bridal shower, you could even use this. So, and then they can use it as a poster. So, yeah, so I have two of them. You can let me know if you want one. And if not, I can show it again in the speed round. That is so nice. And, and so cool because you can, you know, see the time period you know, from yes. the style that that came <laughs> from. That is awesome. All right. Now, if Denise wasn't here, I would be going, I have a stone. Oh. No, it's, it's actually carved. It's 
It's a oh. carved stone. <laughs> I know. Denise is like, eh, yeah. I don't well, know what I have against carved ones, but. <laughs> so this is a wolf. It is a little carved wolf. It is very detailed. Now, the interesting thing is it's not it's not quite that color. It is blue, but it's almost more of a like see-through blue. This is making it look a little dense and it's not quite that dense. It is lighter. Like I can when I when I do my my finger like this, I can actually see through it and and see my finger on the other side. So there is the bottom. That it is a beautiful wolf, or it could be a dog. But I think it's I I I, I saw the features and thought, eh, I think that's a little more of a wolf. Oh, Lou says oh. the glass. I don't know. I don't know. It's a stone. It is a stone. Lou, you've been lurking. <laughs> I lurking, Lou. The lurking Lou. <laughs> it is, um, let's see. Well, it's just a smidge more than an inch and a half tall, like an inch and what would that be? Five eighths. <laughs> and at its widest, it is about three quarters of an inch. But no, it's not glass. It is stone. And it is beautifully detailed. Hi, Anna. Hello, Anna. So I will, I'll hold it back here just so you get an idea. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Multitasking. All right. So I don't see any takers for the wolf. So we will bring that back for the speed round. And we'll go back to Denise. And I sold this picture before and I found another one. And I thought I'm going to buy it and it can start at 25. I think that's what I sold the other one for. And Trish knew the whole story behind the, the, um, Mm -hmm. Picture which I didn't know the first time that this little girl was blind and her dad was an artist mm -hmm. and painted her and she heard the bird chirping and, and saw the bird. And this one's the same way. It looks like it's on the way it's painted. It looks like it's on a material. And um, Mary Ellen, is that right? Mary Ellen. I think she bought the first one. God, she was so happy with it. She had it and showed it hanging up and stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, it, it is a beautiful picture. The first one I had had a note on the back, um, something about two mother or something, 1927. Mm -hmm. This one probably had paper on it because it's got the remnants of the paper, you know, that somebody ripped off. Everybody ripped the paper off. They think there's money behind them, and there never is. <laughs> but, I don't know. But, um, but there's no markings at all other than the remnants of the paper. And an old rope to hang it by. So, but if she doesn't sell, I'll probably hang her up because she is really. Uh, I know after I sold the first one, I kind of mourned it. It was like, oh, I wish I'd kept that picture. So <laughs> yeah. I, find it, I find another one and then here I am selling it. <laughs> it's like, but. but That's she, in a really nice frame too. That, yeah. that is well done. But yeah it, yeah, it originally came out like in the 1920s, I think. And it was huge hugely popular it yeah. was crazy popular so there's a lot of them but since they're from the 20s a lot of them 20s maybe 30s um you know they're 100 years old 
didn't survive. The frame is a little bit loose. Like if you take it and you put, you know, go like that, it wobbles just a little bit. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, so, it's such a when you know the story behind it, I think it just makes the picture that much more beautiful, knowing that it's yeah. a father painting a picture of his daughter and his daughter's blind and she's enjoying the sounds of the bird. It's it's just it's so sweet. You know, even before I knew it, though, I was like, you know, the picture really draws you in. I don't know why, but it just mm -hmm. um, I don't know the colors and it's it's my kind of colors that I kind of like those naturey, you know. Mm -hmm. But and I forgot it's 18 by 14. I don't know if I told you the size. But um ideally, you know, it should be taken apart and the frame kind of re-glued and then put back together. Um in my house it would probably just get hung up. But is know. it is it gonna fall apart? Probably well, not. No, it's not going to fall apart. It's just, um, you can oh, tell there was. Mike, Mike's grandma had that. Mm -hmm. nice. Oh, really? Very wow. nice. And if I see it again, I'll probably pick it up again because mm -hmm. it's just a neat picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one was just thrown on the floor at the flea market. And I was like, they don't know what that is. Those crazy no, fools. They don't. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, we can count that down to Mr. Mike, and I thank you so much. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Mike. Oh, in her dining room. Nice. Oh, thank nice. you so much, Mike. Yeah, it's just, and I don't know the way he painted it. It looks like it's on fabric, but, you know, it's not. It's print, I'm sure, but... Um, mm -hmm looks like material well they might have used yeah like a like a linen type yeah. paper or something to to print that on like those old postcards that are on that linen paper could be yeah. something similar yeah so, hi jana thanks hi jana hi jana so uh my item's going to start at 12 dollars, and i have another uh book and this one is a lassie come home. Oh. <laughs> so it's a beautiful, like golden yellow uh, book. And here's the binding. Uh, there's just a little bit of minor, you know, wear on the cover. Now this is from uh, August 1943, and this is the 10th printing. Uh, and then there is a little bit, so the binding's a little loose here. There's Lassie, and then someone's signature from 1943, 1944. Um, of course, you know, it's about Lassie come, comes home again. <laughs> um, Oh my gosh. So I love how at the beginning of each chapter they show like a different illustration of Lassie. Um, and I just love the color and the illustration on the on the book cover of Lassie. So there's the dog, not bunnies. <laughs> like from <laughs> Good Thank job, you. Kim. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> you try. I <You> try. <laughs> and then it says, and slowly she pulled herself upwards. So she's going over the fence there. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this was for $12. Very cute book. Um, there is some, you know, obviously there's age to the pages, but very still in, you know, good condition. And then in the back, um, uh, it's like it says England, Scotland, and then look, Lassie's on the compass. <laughs> wow, is that is that the route Lassie had to take to get home? I think that little red line is her route. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess so. Poor Lassie. 
that story almost killed me. God, I just bawled my eyes <laughs> off. I didn't think I was going to survive. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is for $12. You can watch Lassie get home. Take a while. <laughs> that was my eye. Oh, oh job, Fiona Lassie. is in for that oh, one. Hey, Fiona. You're yes, gonna cry, please. Fiona. You're gonna cry. Oh. Did anybody ever see um War Horse? No, I don't think so. So it's it's a movie based off of a play. Oh. So a little different. It's not it's not a I don't think it was a book. I think it originally was a play, which is weird mm -hmm. because it's about a horse. And so mm -hmm. they had like like a puppet horse. That yeah. they used for the play but the play was was very successful and they turned it into a movie and man you want to be on an emotional roller coaster with a movie yeah. about a horse the horse goes off to war world war one oh, and wow. they and they you know the the guy who owns it takes the horse and then the horse you follow the horse through the war it's just, it's a fantastic story, but it's it's so home. emotional, and it's mm -hmm. all it's a horse, but you're oh. you're so vested in the horse. Yeah, <laughs> I those animal stories. I just, God, they just kill me. Black Beauty. That was the end. I was like, nope, no, nope, we're done. <laughs> well, I was pretty much done with Old Yeller. So. Oh, oh my God! Going yeah. once, going twice. And sold. Um, no, I, you know, when I, I did, I do remember when Max, the war dog, yeah, came out and I thought, oh, I'm, I, I'll never make it through this movie. <laughs> so I didn't, didn't even start. I didn't. Uh, that was, no. Oh, that was going to be so hard. You can't sleep at oh. night. Noel knows War Horse. Uh, it was shown in a, a play in Lincoln Center using a me 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 oh. mechanized. <laughs> oh, that was hard. Aww. Using life size actors. Yes. It just, you can't sleep. You just, oh, it haunts you. It just haunts you. Mm -hmm. You're grabbing, you know, I'm grabbing Peanut and Mikey going, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fiona. Oh. <laughs> well, I have another stone carved animal. It is going to start at $12. And hi, Kathy. So this one is green. I'm not sure if this is a venturine, but it is a little cat. It is a really pretty green stone. So it is a little darker on the bottom and a little lighter on the top. But look at that. Even the little paws on the kitten. And the little ears. There's the little face. And this one is about an inch and a half tall and almost an inch wide and thank you lou isn't that kitty just adorable i mean you could even see like the little whiskers little mouth she looks like jadeite it yeah i don't i don't know if it's jadeite or aventurine or jade little tail It's so cute. Just that big. And we will count that down for Lou. Now, Kathy. Now you're gonna make us cry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's horrible. Now I, I will say that is not the fate in in the movie. Okay. Of war horse. 
It's not the fate. No. <laughs> so going once. I will, I will say you'll need a box of Kleenex, but it's not necessarily because of it being sad. It's just very emotional. And sold to Lou. Thank you. But it's very good. It's worth seeing. It really is worth seeing. At the end, you'll be very glad you saw it. It's not, you won't have regrets. You won't have <laughs> regrets after having seen it. It is worth watching. But it is, it's, it's interesting seeing different aspects of World War I. No, no animal movies or books in my life. That's all there is to it. I've got a tablecloth napkin set. It's a tablecloth that measures 47 by 47, so it's square. And then the napkins, there's four napkins and they're 12 by 12. And it's just a fun little like a, and it can be $12 for the set. And it's just kind of a fun picnic. I'm not gonna fold it because the pattern just repeats and repeats and repeats and stuff. <laughs> I mean, just, you know. You've seen the pattern re yeah. repeated in your mind. <laughs> but it's kind of a cotton, I don't know, cotton or cotton. I think it's a cotton blend. And then the table or the napkins, there's four of those. Oh, I Trina, no Bambies. There was no, I knew what happened in Bambi. And I thought, we're not gonna, <laughs> they're not going to trick me into seeing this. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, uh, Dumbo. Dumbo got me more than Bambi. I don't think I ever really watched Dumbo. Uh, yeah, but anyways, it's this would be great for like a picnic, like or if you've got a um, a porch, you know, with a table and stuff. It would be, you know, you always see the red ones, the red um, square ones and stuff. But I don't know. It's like it's like brand new too. I know it's old, but it's. And it's what like, was the size again on that one? The tablecloth is 47 by 47. It's mm. square. And the napkins are 12 by 12. Hi, Randy. Have you Hello, been working Randy. too? <laughs> Hello, um, everybody who's lurking. Oh, Mary Beth, I'm with you. I know it. It's just like some things you just. Uh, there's four napkins so i mean it's just a nice little set for four for a nice for a square table for four people for a picnic and they're all in excellent condition and i don't think they were ever used if they were they were they were wa washed lisa makes fun of how i say washed no there's no stains um, there's no stains there's no holes just a second i'll i'll unfold it i'll just be brave and i'll unfold it jan <laughs> <laughs> but um no there's no stains hi Jeannie. i i have not seen um where the red fern grows i ha i have not done that one uh, I know it's, it's a, I know it's a classic. Yeah. I I have not done that one yet. There was a book, The Longest Journey, about I think it was two dogs and a cat or two cats. Oh yeah. Dog. Yeah, I remember yeah. that one. I was reading that in study hall in the seventh grade. Well, what a mistake that was. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> They're like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Is somebody sick? No, oh, it's reading a book. <laughs> no, it was just, it was just a mistake. <laughs> oh dear. Thank you, Jan. Oh. oh. Yeah, I. You know, I could sit. This is horrible to say. I mean, even in my job, I could watch people die, and it was like, yeah, yeah, let's have a sandwich. But, but a dog <laughs> or a cat. 
It's like, oh my gosh. I know it's yeah, homeward bound. That was good. Charlotte's Web. I know, even though it has, even though it has a, I can do Charlotte's Web. I can do I that. I just swore off all animal things. That I mean, I was just like, nope, nope. Well, we can count this down for Jan. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Jan. Thanks, Jan. This is a nice weight too. I mean, it's not too heavy. It's not too light. It's just, it's just a nice piece. So. No, I can't do, I can't do a dog's purpose. Nope. Nope. <laughs> can't do it. Nope. I've never heard of that one. Me either. Nope. And I don't, I don't, I have a feeling I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my, I, I kind of know. I kind of know. It's like I can watch the previews and I can go, okay, no. I can watch that movie. And so, and some of them, it's like, no, I, I can't. I can't do it. No. no. <laughs> Sometimes just the previews. You start balling. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You just you just know with the pre. It's like no, no. <laughs> I don't even know if that's where it's going. But if it goes there, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so my item's going to start at $12, and I have this cute little uh, white and gold trim oval footed um, porcelain trinket box. I'm sorry, what was your start price again? Oh, $12, it's fine. No, you just said it. <laughs> and, then, and, then I, and then another number jumped in my head, and I'm like, wait a minute, which number was it? <laughs> Uh, so it has these purple flowers, maybe, I guess, violets, I don't know, you tell me, kind of flowers, I think those whatever are they are, <laughs> um, and there's like green leaves with the three gold feet on the bottom, uh, it just has a number, it says one, two, three, nine, but I, when I looked online, it said that it had like, um, a made in Japan sticker. So it's just a little tiny trinket box. And this is one and one fourth inches tall and a little over one and a half inches in diameter. With a tiny size, very cute. Play with your little miniature collection or if you like uh, flowers or use it as a jewelry box. For your rings and earrings. Okay, so I don't see any takers. There's no chips or cracks. But in good condition, let me know if you're interested. And show it again in the speed round. That is, that is a cute little box. Right? Mm -hmm. The size of my eye. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I I remember, I you know it's funny. It was just like a week or so ago. I actually that Hachi movie popped into my head. I don't know why. I was like getting ready for bed, and all of a sudden something I don't know what something triggered it in my head, and I was thinking, oh my gosh. I haven't I haven't seen that in a while. It was it was a very well done movie. But that that's a true story. That Hachi um, movie that that's a true story. And uh, I think that I think that makes it even better when it's sometimes um, even the happy animal stories make me cry. It's like it's just best not. <laughs> All right. Well, I have a blue and white jar. This is going to start at $12. And it's got a nice floral design on it. But what I really liked was the lid. I really liked the lid.
I think that is oh, so Becky. Cool. <laughs> Hi, Becky. You've been lurking on us. <laughs> and then here is the lid. It has all these holes. So you could use this as, you know, like a room freshener. You could put a nice scent in there, use it as a room fresher, right? Or you could use it as a flower frog, hat or you pin. could use it as, yeah, a pick holder, a hat pin holder. Yeah, a lot of fun uses for this. I don't think it's very old. It, it looks, you know, it doesn't have a lot of wear on the bottom. I think, I think it's, you know, semi recent. I say within the past 10 years or so. A uh, smidge more than four inches tall and about three and a half wide, but really nice. And you can see it's got that little bit of a lip. So it, you know, holds that on pretty tight. But yeah, lots of uses you could use that for. And it's got such a pretty floral design on top. And it's blue and white. So again, if you've got, you know, blue and white in a china cabinet, you know, out on display, this would be a nice accessory piece to add to it. And yeah, you could use that as a little room freshener. So that is $12. Oh, Lois. And Hello, Lois. Lois has been lurking too. Lurking Lois. <laughs> Everybody's lurking. Well, it's oh. nice to nice to see the lurkers. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for joining us. And we'll count that down for Lois. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Lois. Thank you. And we'll go back to Denise. I got a choice this time for $8. And they're kind of similar. Talking about the animal stories. <laughs> Hi, on animals. Yeah. And this is like a little puppy dog. I think he kind of looks like an Airedale. I don't know for sure. Did you say but, $8? Uh, yep. Yep. No problem. I know those those animal stories just hey, it did something to your brain. And they're both marked Japan on the foot there. And there's no chips or cracks. There's some areas where it looks like the... um pottery has kind of gotten dry and um not really cracked but just separated a little bit um he is five and a half inches long and four and a half inches tall and he kind of reminds me of mikey mikey does that with his tail he'll grab it and they're like oh where'd that come from <laughs> night then, mike Night, Mike. Thank you. And the other one is a horsey. Oh, I, I didn't put choice. I'm sorry. No problem. I'm I'm distracted by this <laughs> one. Here. Hi, Jojo. As he tries to tiptoe through everything on the table to get over oh. here, huh? You know, Junior the cat, he's got a weight issue. And he thinks, thank you, Jan. And he thinks he's really light on his feet. He's just like, I can just like, and he's like on his way, he knocks everything over. And he'll kind of look back, like, whoa, what happened? <laughs> I didn't do that. It's like, oh, this horse is so cute. His little, he kind of looks like a little stuffed horse. And he's marked Japan too on the one foot. And he's got, they're not really cracks, they're just, um, like a dry skin, you know, a dry skin, except it's dry pottery. So, but anyways, we can sure count that for. All right. Um, so yeah. going once, going twice and sold to Jan. No. Yeah. Jan. 
Yeah. Doug or <laughs> Not Joe. No, not, it's not Joe. Joe. <laughs> you want the horsey? I know. The Isn't horsey. Cute? Thank you, Jan. Now, if anyone would like the dog for eight, just let us know. See, now he's going to be even more insecure. He's going to chew his tail off because, oh, <laughs> they didn't pick me. They took my horse friend and <laughs> left me behind. Oh, dear. Okay, so my item's gonna start at uh, ten dollars, and I have a black and gold a metal tray with a multicolor flowers on here, and this is by Viola F. Bashant. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, and. <laughs> This is uh, eight and three eighth inches across and six and a half inches wide. Um, I think, I mean, I'm not really sure. Are those pansies around and then maybe some pink roses in the middle? And then some other pretty white and yellow hand painted Ooh. flower here. But I thought it was very pretty. And then here's the back of it. It's a little she bit of a very nice job on that. Yeah. Good job, Viola. Good job, Viola. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, this was for uh, $10 to put on display or use it as a tray for all of your items. Or even just some, uh, you know, you can put, what do you call it, a command strip or something. Just put it on the wall. Yeah. So, yeah, so this is $10. Yes. Let me know if you're interested. And that was my item. Okay. Joe, go eat your food. You have two bowls of food over here. Go eat. Come on. Come on. <laughs> um, all right. I have got a bracelet next. And this bracelet has, um, well, it's made of stones. But, so this is stone. I believe these are um, dyed howlite stones, but this one and this one and the one in the center here are not only black light reactive, but they also retain the light and it glows after you turn the light off. So if you really want to power these up, like leave them under the light for a while so they can absorb all the light. And then when you take the light away, oh, you're not going to be able to see that, but they do still light up. How can I make this dark? There. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw it. There, you can see when you shine the light on it, then it um, it absorbs the light and then it oops, it lights up. So that's what those three stones do. It's gonna be really hard. I don't think I can. Yeah, it's really hard to show the other two. So it's made with stones, this part made with, I believe it's howlite. And then they color the howlite to kind of give it a, a turquoisey kind of look. And then it's got that pretty glow in the dark flower on it. And it's just really pretty anyway. Even if it's not glowing, it's still really pretty. Nice, stretchy. And so that is $10 for 
for the glowing bracelet. Joe says, fine. I'm going to go upstairs <laughs> then. <laughs> fine. Trump, as he tromps upstairs. These are $10 and you get all four of them. They're metal. Um, well, three of them are metal and one of them's cardboard. But I don't know. Anybody who knows me knows I have a little tin addiction. Tin containers kind of, you know. Anyways, these three are tin and this one is... Um, just the cardboard box that a tin one had come in and they're all the shilling and the red kind of looks nice, like in a display. And some of them actually have some of the spices still in them. So if you, want, if you want to cook with them, <laughs> go right ahead. No. <laughs> my cooking, oh, this one feels really full. My cooking would probably taste just the same or probably better. <laughs> my idea of cooking is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich it's like yeah there we go i cooked all day I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich anyways but um i like them because they're red oh and i didn't even realize this it says shilling a company san Fr from san francisco i guess it says it on the front and the back oh. i didn't realize, i didn't realize that it says no right does it on on these two it doesn't say it on those oh cool but yeah, and tammy is in for 10. oh thank you tammy but they're definitely old they've got the old old you know well they got the old tops on them that's tops. for sure yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> yeah you know my god it's like every time you cooked you got something out you have to pry oh this one is a little bit newer it's got the slider with the oh Ooh, it's fancy and that's just the box so you know i'm sure this this how they sold it they probably sold the box with the tin inside yeah probably well we'll count those down for tammy yep thank you tammy going once going twice and sold to Tammy. Thank you so much, Tammy. Ooh, try not All right, to and we'll it. go back to Kim. Okay, so my item's going to start at eight dollars. Whoops! And of course, on Trisha's channel, I brought a teacup. Oh, nice. <laughs> So I have the blue. Oh, <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Fiona, let me write you down so I don't forget. Hold on one second. Um, That's an awesome bunny, Fiona. Uh -huh. That is awesome. Yeah, thank I you so much. I am so glad somebody is, is taking that one. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that one's uh, really fun. I just found that one recently. Uh, so I have here this all white and gold trim, a purple floral teacup set. Uh, and now just so you know, there is some minor wear on the inside. Like it looks like a like a minor hairline crack on the bottom down there. And I think, I swear, I thought I saw something. Oh, and then just like on the bottom here, very smooth a chip. But it does say it's from Society Fine Bone China made in England. And it has these beautiful purple flowers and it's a little different on one side with the fancy handle and then here's the saucer and this says a coronation of bone china england but other than that if you have a nice teacup collection you can just display this um i don't see the crack going through on the bottom so i think it should be fine but 
regardless it's a pretty teacup and this was for eight dollars oh you're fine fiona <laughs> thank you oh uh, yeah so this is eight dollars for the teacup set and that was my item all right and I have another animal, but this one's a little different. So uh, it is, a, it's like resin with little stones inside. So it's going to start at $10 and it is a little turtle. But it's like, I believe this is some kind of a resin. And then you can see that they've got all the little stones inside here to create the little blue of the turtle. So it is a really cute design. Hi, Baba Wally. Hi, nice there, Baba Wally. Nice to see you. Hello. But isn't that cute that they've got it all filled with these little stones, little blue stones. And the turtle is about two inches long by about an inch and a quarter and about an inch and a quarter. So two inches long, I'll hold him back here so you get an idea, but a cute little resin, like a clear resin turtle. And then he is filled with little blue stones. And that is $10. Does he glow? Oh, I don't think so. Let me see. Uh, no. Oh. All right. But we will go back to Denise. And this is, this is the last round. And then yep. we'll do the speed round. <laughs> and I've got this little blue vase, glass blue vase. I have no idea what it is. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like it's got these things coming up and then they crawl up the side of the vase. And it's $10. It has a little chip, right? Right there. It's not huge, but it's, it, unfortunately, it is, you can kind of see it right there. It is a little chip. Oh. Yeah. And it does glow. It kind of turns like a greenish. And it's kind of weird. It glows better with the old style flashlight than the new style. Uh, I have the hardest time showing the um, the glow because it just burns it out. You can kind of see. Maybe. Yeah, oh, there, you can see it right on the edge there. Yeah. yeah it's kind mm -hmm. of a greenish. I mean, it's not a real bright glow, but it does it does glow green. But um, it would it would still be fun in a cabinet, you know, a black light cabinet or something. Yes. Got a couple straw marks on it, or I assume what are straw marks? I don't know if you. Can... Oh, here you can kind of see that one, right there. They're not uh, cracks or anything. They're just they're real light, and it is four and three quarters inches tall. It would look cute with just a little tiny bouquet of some kind in it. You couldn't put real big flowers in it, but you could put maybe even a, a I don't know, an orchid or something. I don't know, but it, it's real pretty. So I, I kind of like how they did these little legs. So, but I don't see any interest in that so it'll come on the speed round again all right and we will go to kim okay uh so this is going to start eight dollars i have another book 
So this is numbers. They are like numbers, <laughs> accounting book. <laughs> and then here's the back of the book. So it has a lot of cute illustrations. It's from 1986. And of course, you have a bear dressed up like a bear. <laughs> And it's fall there in that photo. And then in this one, they have a tea party. And then walking in the park. So cute. And then playing with the dolls. So I see in each one they're like counting different things. Not done. No. Go eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> There's bear with the balloons on the plane. Yeah, so this is for eight dollars and it's all about counting in the numbers book. So this was for eight dollars, and I can show it again in the speed round. All right, I have got a uh, choice five dollars choice, and I have um. A little collection of stone bracelets. And, oops, I got them tangled up there. There we go. So your choice will be these little stone bead bracelets. And I have black. This one is the Howlite. That's one of the few stones I know. This light purple, I'm not sure if that's amethyst or not. Uh, this one, kind of a multicolored in greens, grays, and tans. A blue. There's a green. Purple. Darker purple. And then this one that looks like, kind of like lava. And I've got Fiona in for first choice. Let me get those back on there. There we go. And mm, size of the bracelet. So it is on a stretchy band. And I have very small wrists. And it is it is still nice and tight on my very small wrist. Uh, 
Um, if you're asking about the size of the bead, I can I can do a little measurement on that. All right, but if you yeah, if you were just asking about the the stretchy, then I I hope that answered the question. Um, but we will count that down. Oh, that's interesting. Very cool. All right. Well, we'll count that down for Fiona for first choice. So going once. Going twice. And sold to Fiona. So Fiona, let me know if you would like the lava, the dark purple, the green, the blue, the multi, the light purple. Oh, there we go. The black, the blue, and the lava. All right. Thank you, Fiona. If nobody wants the light purple, I'll take it. But if somebody else wants it, that's fine. I'll put my thing in there just for bookkeeping. <laughs> I don't know about you, but a lot of times I have to go back. And... <laughs> Sometimes I do. Yeah. Sometimes I definitely do. All right. So we'll get you for the light purple. And if anyone else is interested in the, the Howlite, the multi-colored, the green, or the dark purple, just let me know in the chat. Otherwise, they'll be making an appearance again for the speed round. Um, all right. So... Um, so I will say we are going to go into the speed round now. And thank you everyone who has joined us, whether you were talking in the chat or you were lurking. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you being here. Uh, we are going to go through all of the items that are still available. Uh, if you're in the chat and you see something you like, just let us know. If you're watching on the replay, um, our email addresses are up on the screen. They are also in the description down below. Feel free to uh, send us an email or leave a comment down below if you see something you're interested in. And we are going to start with Denise. All righty. Um, let's see. And Randy's been lurking, too. We we know your game there, Randy. You've been lurking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, my first item is uh, number 44, if you want to claim it. And it's a Fenton base. I had it at 25. I'm going to lower it to 20. Just, um, and I can't remember what you call it. Melon? Melon, yeah. So, so that's $20 for number 44. And then um, number 43 is also Fenton. And it's got the residuals of a little bit of a tag there. And it's also $20. And that's number 43, if you want to claim that. And um, Mr. Stife Bear, it's okay, honey. It, okay, I think you're going to go back to the bedroom. Stife Bear is 50. He was 16 inches tall. And then the um, Black Fossil Leather Purse. Uh, was uh, also 50, and it's in excellent condition. It's it's leather. It's just like leather all over the place. And uh, the Duncan, or possibly Duncan, opalescent oil. I think that's what it is. And that is 25. And then the baby crib cover. I'm not going to unfold it all the way. Uh, it was 12. It's got the uh, 
clown combination bear clown whatever and that's twelve dollars and then the dog he was with the horse but the horse got no. taken so now he's forced to chew on his tail and he's eight dollars and the little blue vase that does glow a little bit it's got a tiny chip on it on the edge up there and that is ten dollars that's everything all that's right funny. no <laughs> he's Thank like you, can, I sit, can i sit in your lap no <laughs> he's insecure it's kind of funny as the night goes on they get a little bit more like oh I think mine went to bed. But. Okay, so um, I have a set of eight uh, English Cottage Pimpernel placemats. Um, and for these three. were for $30, number one. Okay, these were $30, number one. Uh, if you want to see more of these, let me know. Okay, hold well on. Uh, and then I have two of these uh, 24 karat gold plated uh, Austrian crystal uh, flowers with the original tag. Uh, I have two of them for $20 each. And you can just put in number two. They're very long. Okay, so $20, number two, and they have blue and clear faceted Austrian crystals. Um, oh, I have, oops. I have a pair of the uh, paint by number horses, whoops. For forty dollars, number three. Whoops! Here's the other one, just so you know. Okay. Beautiful <laughs> life. <laughs> I don't want to break them. Hold on, one second. <laughs> Okay, um, I have, let's see, I have the Wonders of the Seasons book, uh, $12, number, 14, uh, number four. Uh, a pair of the floral needlepoint Silver Tone Metal Coasters for $14, number six. Okay. And if you have questions, I'm just going fast. So <laughs> I have the Vintage Libby Gold Leaf Glass Sugar and Creamer Set in the Caddy for $18 on number seven. And then the vellum Chef Boyardee posters for uh, $30. You can just let me know which one you want, the minute or the spaghetti. So this is $30 on number eight. The spaghetti is looking pretty good about now, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's making me hungry. <laughs> um, oops. I have the Child's Book of Stories, uh, twelve dollars, number nine. And then let's see. Oh, the white and gold. Purple floral teacup set uh, for $8, number 10. 
This white and gold mini floral vase for twelve dollars, number fifteen. And then this metal tray, floral hand painted tray, for ten dollars, number sixteen. And this purple floral lidded. Oval trinket box for twelve dollars, number seventeen. Oh. This uh, green leaf dish for twenty five, uh, number eighteen. And then the wedding theme wrapping paper poster for $14. Uh, each uh, number 19. So I have two of them. So $14. Uh, number 19 and then the numbers oops, counting book for eight dollars number 20 and those are all of my items all right and if you see something you're interested in you think about it a little later tonight uh, feel free to contact Kim directly at her email address or leave a comment. I've also put in the links for Denise's and Kim's channels. So you can um, click on those if you haven't had a chance yet tonight. Make sure you are uh, subscribed to uh, both of them. And I have... Um, I have five of these available. They are by Imperial Glass. They are the provincial pattern and they are $10 each letter A. So they are like water goblet size. So $10 each letter A and I have five of them available. Um, I have this Arthur Wood teapot. I don't think it was ever used. It still has the sticker on it. It is older. It does have crazing on it, but the gold is still in beautiful condition. This is $20 letter B and it is made in England. So $20 letter B. A set of four of these Czechoslovakian plates. They are a uh, Bohemia made in Czechoslovakia, hand painted. And there's a set of four of them. Three uh, lovely ladies in the center. Uh, $24 for all four plates. And these I don't think were ever used. There's no utensil marks on them. So I don't think any of those were ever used. Uh, letter C, $24 for the plates. Uh, this is a spode cake plate. It is 11 and a half inches. We're not sure what is going on in the center here. We're unclear. <laughs> We're unclear of the situation. Uh, but here is the spode mark on the back. This is $22 letter D. So $22 letter D. And... Um, and I, I have Fiona's info if you don't 
If oh, you okay. don't get it, I can I can give it to you. Oh, thanks, Trisha. <laughs> um, then I have this copper coffee carafe. It does have, you can put a little candle in the bottom there. This is by Princess House, and it is all done in um, beautiful glass and copper. This is $40, letter E. Uh, this plate, I believe it is Venetian. It has gold. It's going to be really hard to see. Where's, where's my dark here? It does have gold all throughout the design. And it has applied leaves that also have gold in them. Um, I believe this is in the style of gold, Venetian gold Venturina. And this plate is $20, letter F. I'll show you those applied leaves. So $20, letter F. And thank you, Jeannie. I've got you for D. Move that. This is Bone China made in England by Roy Kirkham. It is the English rose pattern. It's from 1992. This is a 12 inch platter, and this is $20, letter G. Give you a close up view of one of the roses there. Uh, this is Crate and Barrel. It is a glass holder with a brass candle holder for like potpourri. And this is $18, letter H. And it does have the, somewhere on here, oh, there. It has the Crate and Barrel sticker on it. Uh, this is a carved wood, um, I don't know, display piece. You can hang it. It's very lightweight wood, two birds on it. And this is $15, letter I. The Napco December Angel. She doesn't have a sticker, but she does have a number. She's in great condition. And she is $20, letter J. Um, oops, where did he go? Oh, there he is. This is a little stone carved wolf. And he is $12, letter K. He's what, about an inch and a half tall, I think. So $12, letter K. And then the bracelet that lights up. These um, stones hold the, the light and they glow. This is, I think, how light that is dyed. And this is $10, letter L. And then the little resin turtle full of blue stones. He is $10, letter M. And then I do have two bracelets left, the Howlite and the Multicolored, and these are Five dollars each, letter N. Oh, did I say letter M? This was letter L. 
That was letter M. This is letter N. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and Lois is taking K. Thank you, Lois. I've got you for the wolf. Thank you. All right. So that is everything. Let me get the ladies back here. And um, oops, there we go. And um, Denise, let everybody know where they can find you next. Well, uh, Monday night. Oh, God. We're, we're so full of happiness. We can't stand it. Um, <laughs> on Monday night, I'm with Margie on Vintage Jewels, Gems, and Pearls. Or Vintage, yeah, Jewels, Gems, and Pearls. And um, on, or, I got it wrong. Monday night, I'm with Lisa Fun Finds. And Wednesday, I'm in with Vintage Jewels, Gems, and Pearls. And um, Wednesday at 10 and 3. I just thinking this isn't going to work out. Two, three sales in one day. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, I'm on with Trisha and Jen at 10 a.m. and 3 a.m. Or It's late. <laughs> it's very late. It's late. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 10 a.m. and 3 Monday, Monday and Wednesday. You can find her next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Monday, Wednesday, and I think that that's all I got for now. I think so. <laughs> There's probably something else for that. Oh, and Kim, where can people find you next? Oh no, she's muted. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. Uh, you can you can find me uh, this Tuesday, uh, April fifteenth at five thirty p.m. Eastern on my channel uh, for my monthly YouTube live sale, and then I'll be with um, Trisha and Janice on uh, Wednesday, April twenty fourth at eleven a.m. and four p.m. Eastern. Uh, yeah, that's what I have going on. Great. And Denise, did you get Tammy for the Fenton number 43? Yeah. And Lois for the dog. Okay. Yep. Excellent. Wrapping Excellent. Them up. Yeah. And I will be back next on Monday at 1130 for my lunchtime sale and 6 p.m. Eastern for my weekly sale with Jen Eads. Um, but thank you, thank you, ladies, so much for joining me. Thank, thank you. you, everyone in the chat, for hanging out with us. We appreciate you guys so much spending your Saturday night with us. Um, have a wonderful weekend, and uh, we'll be seeing you in the chats and at the next sale. But take care, everyone.